Guess what? YMH Live is back streaming live from Austin, Texas. Go to livestream.ymhstudios.com to get your tickets for the show September 22nd. I've been eyeballing that toy up there. Which oh, one? Just saying. That's from uh, Pierce Paris. I don't know if I can no, get those at Walmart. No, that's not what he's talking about. He's what, talking about what, the dunk champ. The dunk champ. Oh, not the enema. Oh. Oh, what? Wait, what is wait. This oh, now we got to go. Let's yeah, backpedal a little that bit. That was in a guy's ass. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> this episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Stamps.com. We have been huge huge fans of stamps.com for almost a decade now and the best part about it is that you don't have to go anywhere to ship and mail things that you normally had to go do you can do it just from your house and you'll print postage like you have some secret code but you don't you have stamps.com stamps.com brings the same u.s postal and ups shipping services right to your computer they make it easy for small businesses to mail and ship without needing to take a trip to the post office Print official U.S. postage and shipping labels 24-7 without having to leave your desk or buy any fancy equipment. All you need is your computer and a standard printer. Stop wasting time going to the post office. Go to stamps.com and said there's no risk. With our promo code MOM, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in MOM. That's stamps.com. Promo code is MOMSTAMPS.COM. Never go to the post office again. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva.com slash the shit to get $200 off your next order. And we're back. Another episode of Your Mom's House podcast. She's Christine. Hi, I'm Todd. And this is our show. And um, really excited to be here. We have an incredible, oh, incredible guest coming M- today. Jeans. It is like two major worlds colliding today. Yes, it really is. It is two major. It's the mommies and the juggalos meeting in one playground. I never thought this would happen, and it's happening. I'm so excited. It's super cool. Yes. Uh, before we get too far, you have some dates I to plug? I do. I'm going to plug my dates starting September 9th through 11th. I'm finally doing austin at the creek and the cave you've done that venue it's Do you a love it? lot of fun it's a lot of fun you put a dick in your pussy great you september 23rd through 25th in oklahoma city and then go indian apple tits october 6th and 7th and then uh denver colorado oh comedy okay? works comedy? the greatest comedy club in the country comedy works the new new that's when i wore my sweatshirt comedy works and then yeah. a, a black lady at the security office sir she goes she goes yes it does yes it does comedy and prayer raleigh north carolina in november at charlie goodnights and s-a-r-t salt lake city utah i have rescheduled to wise guys november 26 27 and 28 that's thanksgiving weekend so it's a you, fun time to actually it's the best time your family makes you want to die yeah and then on saturday or friday saturday you're like let's just go do something let's get out of the house <laughs> it's sniff a- that one. Oh, i miss him oh, ass no. river and then i rescheduled san antonio to december 9th through 11th the lol lol and then Orlando, december 15th 16th, no sorry 16th or 18th orlando Christ- oh yeah improv yeah, that'd be great christina he jacked off in four strokes christina p online.com for ticket links thank you for letting me do those eight. thank you for those sound drops that was really neat yeah no problem um <laughs> if you just woke up and you're listening to this podcast you'll know it's fucking morning and it's fucking uh morning. later on it'll be later in the day um and how's your day going good? so far how's your day going my day's good i'm good i'm good you good are you good i'm good that's good <laughs> real excited to be good um we just made uh, chit chat. Uh, oh man, we just had Mediterranean food. You know, Tom, uh, my cholesterol is a little high. Yeah, it and is. And so, um, so this is the best part is that our Texas doctor, I go, well, look, I love barbecue, mm-hmm. and I eat at County Line a lot. And he goes, well, you you can go to County Line, just don't get the sausage. And that's the difference between an LA doctor and a Texas doctor. An LA doctor's like, <laughs> eat nine almonds for lunch. I know. Or maybe a tangerine or something. Yeah, Texas like just stay away from the sausage. Y'all can have your brisket. Have or, all the ribs you want. Yeah. 
Just don't <laughs> eat so much sausage. And you can have the coleslaw. That's fine, too. That's your vegetables right mm. there. Yeah, that's what yeah. he said to me. I was like, yeah. wow, cool, right? Thanks, Doc. <laughs> yeah. Don't have to worry about anything else, you know, like... Uh, COVID, you know, 19 virus. <laughs> <laughs> you Don know. John. Man, I miss him. I like him so much. Good guy. You know, COVID. Really doing his thing and stuff like that. You know. Um, I'll be in Salt Lake Titties. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in October. So. Well, you're coming everywhere. I am, yeah. Palm yeah. Patrol. Look at all those sold outs. God yeah. damn. The Seminole Hardcock, October oh, yeah. 1st in Hollywood, Florida. Not to be confused with Hollywood, California. That's true. And then Tampa. Tampa on Florida. Orlando. Center of Performing Arts. Yeah, they see there's a... Uh, there's Salt Lake Titties right there, October 14th. I it's exciting. It. Yeah, it'll be really fun. Can't wait. Excite. Can't wait for this tour to take off. You are really going. You literally oh are coming God. everywhere. And this is only two legs of the tour. Two legs. There's two How more. many more? Oh, my God, baby. You're gonna Overall, die. it's going to be like 200 and some cities. How happy is Agent Jeans? Oh, he's happy. He's so thrilled. Yeah, he just bought a boat. Of course he's happy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Um <laughs> All right, you want to open the show? I'm ready. I'm Let's here. get this party farted, started. I'm queer and you get used to it. Let's go. So I'm under the bridge. Look, I'm under the bridge. I'm training under the bridge. You see it? I'm under the bridge. I'm going up. I'm going up. And I'm training up under the bridge. Bam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fucking bullshit. Look at the fucking. Bam. Whoa, I'm under the bridge. Bam. I like this guy. Oh, That's right. pretty. This guy's with it. Don't bring anyone mother to this. This guy's got it. He's got man. it. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Watch this. Watch this. is really some he's I, training under a bridge yo no better place to train is this is this an la bridge it i'm not sure a little crazy i mean working out under bridges is a is <laughs> real high risk it feels like i'd be motivated to get the fuck out from under the bridge you know <laughs> do you think the air quality is not as good as you'd like it to be it's definitely not as good it's definitely a scarier vibe scarier vibe, but that's good don't you think the adrenaline motivates that's what i'm you? saying it's probably yeah. working out way harder it's a really good idea yeah um, I love this guy. Why does it remind me a little bit of Cholo Fit Creeper? I fucking love that guy. Oh, that's really He's funny. Like, hey, homie, you got to do your deep stretches. Deep stretches, Holmes. <laughs> I mean, so I'm under the bridge. Oh. Look, I'm under the bridge. I'm training on your bridge. You okay. see it? I'm What's under the LA? bridge. I'm going up. I'm going up. And I'm training up under the bridge. Bam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fucking bullshit. Look at the fucking bam. Whoa, I'm under the bridge. Bam. 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 Uh, bam. Sound effects. Yeah. This doesn't look different than Tybo. Remember Tybo? Yeah. He was doing that. It was um, a little different. On Ventura Boulevard. A little different. <laughs> this looks like Tybo moves. It does look like it. He looks good. He's in good shape, though. Whatever he's doing is working for him. It's under the bridge. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Could you, that's the next LA um, health craze is under the bridge fitness with this guy. Like, I bet you if he just started doing that and like one person joined, two people, he's like Forrest Gump before you know it. You'd have to sign him. a waiver, though, for under the bridge workouts. They're like, you... <laughs> You are working out with us at your own risk if you get robbed, beaten, stabbed, killed. <laughs> that's the whole fun. That's the thing. That's and that's what's going to motivate you <laughs> to lose weight and get in shape. You got to run away, homie. You're under yeah, the bridge. Under the bridge. You're under the bridge. And then this guy's like, bam, boom. Everyone's like, ah, oh my God. Scared the whole yeah. time. He's like, and I'm going to fucking weigh you every week too. Yeah. And if you're fucking fat, <laughs> you're I'm fucked. push you in the traffic. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. This would motivate me. Have you ever like walked? Well, you have. Like if you walk like on Ventura <laughs> and you go north or, you know, under an overpass. That's scary. It's always had wild shit underneath it. <laughs> Not only just being the last year <laughs> when like the homeless situation got real crazy here. Yeah. But I mean, it's all, you've always walked. And always. You're like, Ooh, I got to speed up. And you're like, oh, shoulders back. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was a little girl and I go under an underpass like this, 
It's always went like there would be an outline of the dead body. Like someone someone always gets shot under the bridge. Yeah. Or you get flashed. I've been flashed under a bridge. Um, g- no good things happen. It always seems like that's the place where you'd go do drugs. Absolutely. It's a great place to do drugs. Specifically heroin. <laughs> like if you were looking to shoot up somewhere, it seems like under a bridge is a great. Well, it's a nice place because you can. Isn't that a song? Under the Bridge by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. About doing heroin. About right? LA. Yeah. But isn't that it about is. doing heroin? Sometimes I feel like, like yeah. I don't have a partner. Yeah. Sometimes, Sometimes I feel. Why are you singing it like that? Because he's got a lisp. Really? I'm all alone. It's the city, city I live in. in. The, the city, city of, of angels. Lonely as I am. Together we cry. Yeah, that's all about drugs, man. And I don't ever want to feel. Yeah. Like I did been that day. Yeah, come on, do Take heroin. To the place I love. Yeah, these guys. Take these, me all the way. This is such an LA band. But the good thing about Under the Bridge too is like you can keep your mattress there. Like it's a, it's plenty of space. That's the thing because one thing when you do heroin, you always want to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> and it's cool <laughs> that you can go to one place under a bridge, and you can do both. You can do the drugs and no one sees you, and you can rest. <laughs> You know? And if you're really thoughtful, you can put a dresser next to your mattress and then you got a whole bedroom set up. Got a bedroom under the bridge. <laughs> 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 now that I think about it. I, th- I think your wait, Anthony on. Kiedis impression is so insulting. The, 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 he has got a lisp. If you, Because I've listened to that song so many times that he has a little bit of a lisp. I hear okay. it. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He goes, yeah, I don't ever want to feel it. At yeah. the beginning, sometimes I feel he's got the lisp. Yeah. It's fine. It's it's Look, it's what makes the Chili Peppers unique. Yeah. They're an amazing band. They're very distinctly an L.A. thing. Them, Jane's yeah. Addiction, uh, they're fucking rad. I love them. I love them. Um, <laughs> wait, but we're, maybe we're leaving money on the table here. Hear me out. I'm hearing you. What if we started a hotel for people to do heroin in it's like a nicer environment. Yeah. So that they don't have to go under the bridge. Are you sure they don't really do this in like Norway and Amsterdam? I bet they're they probably do. like, yeah, come do heroin here. <laughs> but they don't charge enough to make it a good business model. Oh, you want to charge. But here's the thing. The Hero- four seasons. And heroin, heroin addicts are always broke. They're not going to be. Well, then you've got the actors who are not. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, but they he just wasn't go, under the they bridge. They just go to the four seasons. They're not going to be like, <laughs> is there a heroin fucking hotel? <laughs> there might be. But, but think about it. What about. A hotel specifically catering to all your heroin needs. They provide spoons, lighters, tie-off ropes. Those aren't hard to find. It's not like they're like, yeah. ugh, I can't find a spoon, you know? But a clean one and a clean needle, True. that was hard to find and people but got again, AIDS. The people that are like really struggling to find a clean spoon, you know, they're not <laughs> very high on resources. Well, I hear what you're saying, but just... I feel like this is Shark Tank and I'm like, I don't want to invest. <laughs> I'm not going to pay for it. What this. if I provided a hotel just for you to do illegal drugs in at, at a very leisurely experience, a nice high end service? Like, you know, when you're super high yeah. and pot and it's 2 a.m. and you're like, fuck, I wish I had a brownie smoothie with peanut butter and ice peanut butter and ice cream in it. Ding dong, you just you call down to room service and they have a stoner menu. Yeah. Or maybe it's an a la carte. Like, you just tell them what you want and they bring it up. You wouldn't pay top dollar for that. Sure, the Stoner Hotel. That's what now you're Stoner thinking, Hotel. Stoner's way better market than heroin market. <laughs> stoners will spend money. Stoner Hotel. Stoner, stoners and, and a lot of people. A lot of people and pots legal in yeah, California. Yeah, a lot of places. It's a great idea. That's a great idea. Sto- oh, and it's nothing. You're gonna go so broke on this heroin <laughs> hotel idea immediately. Hey, listen. You sometimes you got to shoot. Your lobby the moon. is just like. People are just passed out, mouth open. You're like, what happened? These are our customers. Uh, you know, we haven't sold any food this week. <laughs> no one's eating here. Everyone's just taking suppositories. Uh, <laughs> Dirty mattress. Yeah, dude. Come on. But I would want to provide a safe place for them to do heroin so that they're. Well, not that part's very thoughtful, and I and think and raped and yeah. stuff, you know. All right, you don't have to go but uh, but Stoner Hotel. Now that's a fucking that's idea. That's a good business. You've got nothing but awesome stoner movies. Stoner movies, good weed. Great weed. Great edibles. Great edibles. And then a menu of like whatever you want to eat, the chef makes it. And, you know, we also have Xanax. If you go too far, take the edge (laughs) off. 
<laughs> as Joey Diaz advised me, he's like, take a little baby Xanax. Take, it's what you got to do. You combine. Right. You need 200 milligrams of THC. And you take a little baby Xanax. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, Joey. That's a great. Joey should start this business. Yeah. He specialized. Like, he would know exactly what. Now, I'm just a novice. I'm a dilettante uh, weed person. I don't know a lot. Yeah. You need an expert here. <laughs> I'm so excited on Shark Tank. <laughs> You're like, Lori, hear me out. <laughs> it's a heroin hotel. And they're like, wait, what? You're like, no, people just do heroin in my hotel. <laughs> heroin addicts. We all know them. <laughs> Mark, you in? <laughs> just wheeling some heroin addicts. We're like, I need a place to stay. Yeah, this is a good business. <laughs> we take the cash up front. <laughs> Always. You pay Always. first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, really I don't know like why it. this tickles me so much. It really much. does. You really it really like tickles me. Heroin hotel idea is really good. <laughs> you know how many songs would be written about the heroin hotel? I mean, there's. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. Is that me? No. Totally <laughs> hotel <doesn't>. California. <laughs> Isn't that the Hotel California? You check in, but you can never leave. It's a heroin hotel. Is that what that's about? It's about? I think it's about drugs, isn't it? The hotel yeah. California. I don't know. Living it up at the Hotel California. Bow, bow, meow, meow, meow. Such a lovely place. Yeah. Such a lovely place. This could be heaven or this could, this be, could hell. be hell. That sounds like you're yeah. high. Then she lit up a candle. Mm -hmm. She showed me the way. Yeah. yeah, Hotel California. Such a lovely place. I think it's about drogas. Sure. Sure. Maybe. Yeah. She got the Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. He said... um, Mm -hmm. I called the cab. Please bring me some wine, my wine. He said we haven't had that spirit here since 1969. 69. What's up, bro? But <laughs> why are you asking for such outdated stuff? It's because you're high on heroin. I guess so. It's a heroin hotel. Remember last night when we discussed doing 69? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I was like, should we 69? I said, yeah. I don't see what the big deal is. Well, you have a broken arm. Your arm is in total disrepair. And then I have a broken ankle, like, and then you're like, I'll just squat on top of you. You said yeah. I'll squat on top. What's wrong with that? Why can't I do that? <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying to think back to when we did 69 last. Did you squat on top of me? Probably. Ugh. Kind of brings about a more interesting question. What? Which is it that I'm, am I gay, straight, or bi? You know, it's one of our favorite books. We've read this book many times together. <laughs> Is my husband gay, straight, or bi by Dr. Joe Court. And we're going to reveal something on this show today. Okay. Shout out to Dr. Joe Court. Shout out to Dr. Joe Court. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's house exclusive. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the actual YMH exclusive. This is. Behind the, behind the jeans curtain. We haven't told this story yet. No. We've held on to it. <laughs> and we're just going to tell the story. Go ahead. You tell, tell the story. You tell the story. You're coming everywhere. You tell the story. Okay. A few months ago, you know, we were talking, we were playing his clips a lot on the show, and we reached out to Dr. Joe Court to come on the podcast, and he said yes. And we had a conversation with him where <laughs> I thought it would be funny to lean into the fact that I'm fucking guys all over the place <laughs> on the road, and he was like, really? And, <laughs> and that I was the distraught wife mm -hmm. who was trying to come to terms with him fucking dudes. And here's the thing about, you know, when you do bits, right? Sometimes in concept, you, you have them play out in your head a certain yeah. way and then you execute them and you're like, mm, that didn't land the way. Mm -hmm. So what I realized is I didn't break. I, I kept saying like, yeah, you know, I was in Phoenix and I fucked these four guys. And then like, <laughs> like he was like, really? I was like, yeah. He was like, okay. And he was very like nice about it. So sweet. But... As the interview wrapped up, it was like a 20 minute, 25 minute Zoom conversation. I felt bad that I had, you know. Betrayed his trust. Yeah, yeah, like so I, when it ended, we called him back. And I was like, man, I confessed to him. I was like, I made that shit up. He was like, really? And then we had another interesting conversation with him, another 15, 20 minute conversation. And then, like a real conversation. Yeah, like a real one. Where about, I was like, I was like, you know, that was a bit, and I and I apologize. We, we both apologize for yeah. being shits. We're like, listen, dude, we thought it'd be funny, 
it really just it didn't land well and we like you you're a nice guy we didn't want to hang up and like yeah. have you think that we we are these people like we're just joking because it was like it felt too dirty like it felt like too much manipulation you know and yeah he, and he was sweet. being genuine and authentic and like really trying to help and i was just like yeah you know when you blow like four guys in detroit you know what i mean just because you're yeah. on the road and he was like okay and he was yeah, we just fucked up. Look, sometimes in comedy, you yeah. shoot, you swing for the fences, and what's the saying? You hit your mom's cunt. Like, you don't make it all the way. That's true. Um, so, but I got to say, the second conversation was really good. And very real. And we really talked about whether or not men are gay, straight, or bi, and how, you know, sexual fluidity in males and all this stuff. Yeah. And... And there was a great talk, and we were like, you know, I apologize for the earlier talk, and he was cool with it. Yeah. But then a little while later, not even like a half hour <laughs> later, he emailed and was like, I don't want any of that. <laughs> so we've always, um, we've always respected his, you know, of his course. wish. I'm not going to air it. But we did get to talk to him, and I so regret that it went that way. I know. I have to say, in all of YMH history, I don't regret many bits or yeah. things that we have done. That is my only regret is how we handled it with him. I, I don't, you know, like again, we we live and learn. Like I, we made a mistake. We fucked up with a guy. And, and I understand why he wouldn't want it to be aired because he's kind of like, well, how are they going to edit this? Like, am I going to look like a right. buffoon? Yeah, is this yeah, going to yeah. be, like he's a legitimate therapist. Like that's his life. I know. And here with two us jackasses, so I, I would it. love to try to have him on again. We tried and we didn't hear back, but that was like right at that time. But I would love to follow up again. Yeah, because what his whole argument is really interesting that he believes that male sexuality is fluid the way they've mm -hmm. studied women's sexuality and women are gen very fluid in their sexuality. Like they can be bisexual at one point, lesbian, and then go with a man. Blah, blah, blah. And his argument is like, well, why can't men be the same way? And men mm -hmm. are, in fact, the same way. Um, but I don't know. Like, we, you know, you and I love to talk about this because I don't, I'm not friends with any straight males who have come to, come to me and been like, hey, you know what? I am a straight guy. I've been with a woman, same woman for a million years. But there was that one time where and, uh, and my part of that and I might butt be fucked or blew each other. Like I don't have part that. of that though. Might be that you know somebody like that, but they would never say it. That's right? what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that men are so shamed. Yeah. Are you going to tell me the truth about something right now? Maybe. Is this another YMH exclusive? This is a <laughs> YMH. Um, no, but I, I also in my time on this earth with you know. Dozens of friends, no, never have I, never had anyone been like, yeah, I did that. I've never heard somebody say that. I know, me neither. And I feel like the guys that I have talked to like that, they end up being gay yeah. eventually. Like they might go on the bisexual highway for a few years and then they're like, dude, I'm full gay now. And right. Like, and you're yeah, like, yeah, know. I know. We all know. I knew, you know, you know what I knew when you said that you blew that guy that first time? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we all suspected that you might be gay. Yeah. Because men are so, I mean, if there's anything we've learned from, from the cool guys yeah. on YMH, it's that men really are so driven by what they're into sexually and really don't compromise a whole lot, especially in this day and age. In term, like, you don't really meet the guy that's like closeted and has a wife and stuff as much anymore as you did in the 1950s. Cause no. society's opened up so much. Right. And that guy just goes, no, I want to just be with that I guy. I want to suck dicks now. And that's, that's what I do. I just yeah. gobble dicks all day. Ugh. I love dicks and buttholes. And I love doing that stuff, you know? Ugh. So, um, Man. now Zolo's a young guy in college. Yeah. Have Zoli. you, have you noticed like your experience is probably different than ours was back in our day. Do your friends go like, you know what? Fuck a couple guys this weekend. How about you, man? They sure don't. No. <laughs> yeah, not at all. No. Nope. Still not, not cool. Not in the frat house not or anything. Cool. Not the straight ones. Are there no. gay ones in your fraternity? Yeah, there's a couple. But really, that's kind of that's new and and progressive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but Do you guys haze them like and you like you know what I mean like shove your dicks in their face? <laughs> <when you're> <laughs> no. No. Do you guys talk about sex? Yeah. 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 Sure. I mean with the gay guys, you yeah. ask them butt butt stuff and like butt sexing. They're very open about it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Super cool. Do they ever try to like you know what I mean? 
Could you guys have switched teams? No, no, but but hearing them talk about like their experiences on Grinder and stuff, it, it's fucking crazy how easy it is for them to just hook up at any time. It, it's wild. <sighs> it's That's the luckiest yeah. thing. That's the best. Yeah. It's so crazy. they're just like, I just opened my phone, and then this guy was like, I am in the grocery store. Yeah, dude. Let's fuck. Mm. They show me like the DMs and the pictures all the time, and it's just nonstop. Like, here's this dick, here's this fucking butthole. Yeah. <laughs> so wild. Like, guys are so I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah. Guys, and I, I think it really boils down to having no reproductive consequences. Like, you guys do not get pregnant. Especially a guy with a guy. Then they're like, yeah. there's definitely nothing on the line. There's, n- and even now, there's um, a, me- a pill you can take. I think it's before you have intercourse that prevents you from contracting HIV. What? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, which is fantastic. Is it you take it before or right after? I forget. I think if you take it, if you know you're going to have like a wild weekend, um, just to, if there's gay people listening and you don't know about it, yes, there is a pill you can take, I think before you have a sex act and it can protect you, prevent you from contracting HIV, which is so And before amazing. you go, oh, how come you're saying only gay people and not straight people? Because we know HIV is the gay flu, okay? <laughs> That's well, why. Well, no, because I, I have uh, gay male friends who've told me that they've done this in preparation for like a wild weekend. Pre-exposure prophylaxis. Prophylaxis. I've never heard of this. This is Yes, wild. isn't that amazing? It's a I know that like now they offer you, um, offer awesome. you or they offer patients... What's it called? The uh, the vaccine for, what is it? Genital, genital warts they have now Crazy. too. And they're, they're giving it to boys so that, uh, and you better believe I'm going to have my boys vaxxed when they're like, I think it's 10 or 11, you can get the yep. genital warts vaccine. Man, I really wish we could just give boys birth control. Um, or That's just, the main thing I want to scare them. Yeah, them. Tie, their, tie their testes up until they're <sighs> 30 Man. so you don't fucking ruin your life. We were talking about that the other day, like how having a kid young can just destroy your life. You destroy. know, Destroy. Can you imagine if you had kids at 17, you'd be, you know, say goodbye to comedy. Yeah. Say goodbye to this hot piece of ass that you get to bang every night. (laughs) What? Huh? Who? Hello. What happened? 69. The girl has to be on top for 69. You did not. I just felt my heart. You just did not do that. This is in my folder. Oh, you guys. Okay, I, I'm i sharing this willingly. I'm so embarrassed, but I'm going to share this. So, you know how everybody's like, we want to hear diversity and women's voices and, you know, people in wheelchairs and fat people. Uh, back in 2008, when I was a feature act, they did not want to hear those diverse voices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially in stand-up comedy. And so this- Your name's misspelled? It's mis- as always, which is why I've changed it to Christina P., so this lovely woman, April Macy, God bless April Macy, she was a headliner, she was on Last Comic Standing, um, took me out with her and I was her feature act and we we had clubs going, literally, two women, <laughs> no thank you. So we had to come up with a concept to get us sold and this is what we did, the naughty and sorta nice comedy tour and guess which one I was? You were sorta nice? And she was naughty. Mm-hmm. And we took these silly pictures of her and like devil horns. It was a gimmick just so that they would book you. They would book two women on the bill. It was so unheard of. It was like two aliens. That's 2008. 2008. Isn't that wild? Anyway, I was going through my my stuff and I found this and I thought, oh, how embarrassing. But but also, uh, you know, I talk shit on a lot of uh, stuff that's happened in our society. But not long ago, you know, in 2021, now they want to hear women tell jokes back. Well, I don't know. Do they? But anyway, we pretend like we do. In 2008. You look cute, Jean. Uh, wasn't that cute? Yeah. Side bangs, full action, longer mm-hmm. blonde hair. It was a good time. So God, bre- uh, God bless April Macy. Shout out to her. She's she's still working and yeah. she's very funny. You can see her. Yeah, April's really funny. She would crush. Oh, she murdered. April yeah. Macy, let me tell you, taught, taught me uh, how to crush. I would watch her just... Oh, she would just destroy, destroy. Standing ovations. Yeah. Tampa slide splitters. I'll never forget. Standing ovations. I saw you guys ovations. somewhere. It She's was probably on this killing. tour. I saw you guys in Florida somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, you, we did up and down Florida. That was yeah, our Yeah, because you guys we went, you stayed state. at your, your parents' place. That's right. Yeah. Uh, for that one. And I drove down somewhere and saw you guys. I remember I went to the bathroom when uh, I think you were on stage and this guy was taking a leak. 
And another guy was like, what's going on in there? And he's like, some chick's on uh, doing stand-up. And he goes, yeah? How big are her tits? <laughs> and the guy goes, pretty big. And that was me. That yeah. was your future wife. And that was their conversation. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, society's changed quite a lot. This is October of 2008. We were married a month later. Did you yeah. realize that? Yeah, real right now. Yeah. Yeah, so this is right before we got married. Wow, man. 27 yeah. years. It's a long time. 38 years together. Yeah. And they misspelled my last name, as yep. usual. This comedy club no longer is. This, can you imagine this if you had been like, New York. hey, can you fix that? They would have been like, well, <laughs> sure. Oh, and fun fact, at the time, <clears throat> my agent was the same agent who represented Screech from Saved by the Bell. He's, he's no longer with us now. Either one? Screech. Oh, oh I don't uh, know about the agent. Oh. Uh, what was his? I don't even remember his name. But you have to say his name. I won't. Uh, so Screech would be on every club calendar a week before me. And then I get to hear what you know he was up to, which was kind of fun. Uh, another thing that's uh, bookmarked here. Yeah. Oh with shit. With your name, what's this about? Oh, this is cool. This showed up um, in my uh, Instagram feed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now you can have beautiful jewelry made from a loved one's teeth. What better way to remember the dearly departed? So. Oh my God. <laughs> then their teeth. Ugh. So disgusting. It's well, so ugly. If those are bird's teeth, yeah. Look at the middle row with all the the whatever platinum and shit in your yeah. in your fucking mouth. This looks terrible. All the terrible. cavities. At least choose the teeth that don't have fillings. Right. Or the the clear fillings that they don't show as much. Jesus. Tommy, I love you so much. I'm gonna have a tooth necklace made of all your teeth when oh, you die. Oh God. <laughs> That'd be so gnarly. I'm gonna. You know what, Tom? I'm going to put it in my will that when I die, they're going to pull all my teeth out and make nothing but jewelry Dude, for you. Dude, but I'll tell you, you <laughs> if you look at that, this screen grab, there's almost 900,000 comments underneath <laughs> this post. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. It's been shared almost 50,000 times. Uh, yeah. I believe, uh, yeah, the author of My Struggle started this kind of jewelry, <laughs> didn't he? Jesus. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This was started. <laughs> this is a hot German trend. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild, Gene. Yeah. Well, if you really loved me, you'd use my teeth as jewelry. And the expense—I have expensive teeth. These veneers cost a fortune. You better make them into necklaces. You better believe them coming up in May. Look at those choppers. Yeah, yeah. I'll They're put those. White. I'll put those on a ring. There she is. Just the two front ones. Those yeah. are the most expensive. Christine. <laughs> um all right this is super oh, exciting m jeans why don't we uh stop down I can't believe this we'll is happening back in a bit with our guests your mom's house will be right back when was the last time everyone agreed on what's for dinner you want chinese food they want pizza and someone is craving froyo there's something for everyone on doordash doordash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And ordering is so easy. You open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with a contactless delivery drop-off setting. With tens of thousands of restaurants across Canada, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like McDonald's, Popeye's, A&W, and Tim Hortons. It really is just that easy. I mean, we've been living off DoorDash now for years. Mm. <laughs> for a limited time, our listeners get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more. When you download the DoorDash app and enter code YMH, that's 25% off up to $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code YMH. Don't forget, that's code YMH for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Uh-oh, Best Fiends. It's my favorite game on my phone. I play it all the time when I have a free minute. I play it when I'm waiting in airports. I play it in the airplane. I play it in Ubers. I love Best Fiends. Um, I like the characters. I like the colors. I like that I feel rewarded constantly. They're always like, you did it. You did it. You can unlock this next thing. <laughs> I do. I feel really proud. I'm proud of myself when I play Best Fiends. <laughs> the puzzles are fun. They're challenging, but not like such a brain drain, you know? 
and they keep you engaged for a long time. And there's lots of explosions, and I like that too. You just feel like you're doing stuff. Um, yeah, summer's a great time to get away from it all, and whether you're unplugging from the internet or to hit reset or just finding yourself without Wi-Fi, you can still enjoy Best Fiends. Um, I love it, and I can play it anywhere I want, so I never miss out on a chance to play. Download the five-star rated puzzle game Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Ready in five, four, no, three. No, in Hebrew. Ready in Chumash. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back and we're super excited for today Hold you on. i'm can, sorry Chris, that? did he just what what, what was hebrew. that language hebrew. hebrew there's a whole language what is that what who speaks <laughs> <laughs> yep. these are fucking jays dog these are jews in there oh, and, Jay, oh. Wait, you're, you're, you're like speaking yeah totally different yeah. language these are like israelis like they have they wait, always oh, go so back it's and israeli forth. it's not jewish language well right israeli language well it's it's what they speak in israel <laughs> and like they're usually in there going and back and forth to each other can you not be jewish and speak Hebrew? You can. Yeah, you I can. mean, are there people like in Jerusalem or wherever yeah, Jewish exactly. people come from, right? Yeah. yeah. Is yes. that right? But there's non Jews there speaking Hebrew, for sure. Right. If yeah. I knew Hebrew, I could go there. You can go there. And yeah. not be Hebrew. They and won't speak. be like, what the fuck, Hebrew. man? You're not a Jew. <laughs> right. I, and I'll be like, maybe I am. You don't know. You don't know. You, you can convert, don't. right? You yes. can definitely convert. It, it kind of sounded like that thing, like in the Evil Dead, when they're calling the spirits out the book type thing. That's oh. kind of what it reminded me of. But. Necronomicon. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Oh yeah. Dude, ugly they're language, always right? doing this back and forth, right. and we're just. Oh, you like, speak Sigurd. Jewish too? I don't speak Jewish. I I, I identify as Jewish. But do you okay. understand it when they speak it? No, only to count till four. My biological dad, he could understand Polish, but he couldn't speak it. Okay. Because oh, yeah. his, his like mom and grandma were like off the boat Polish. Oh. And my great grandma lived with us when we were kids. She didn't speak English. I don't know Polish for shit. I know a couple words, but yeah. yeah, she used to beat my brother with a shoe and stuff. It was great. <laughs> That's good. She used to love me, so I'd never get smacked around Fantastic. by her. Fantastic. Well, who needs an intro after that? Oh, that's it's, right. Uh, Fuck, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. <laughs> this is the best. Yeah, this is the best the way best. to do it. Shaggy and the Creep from the Shaggy yeah. and the Creep yeah. show yeah. are yeah. here no, what on the, the couch Ooh. from the D. What's going on in the D? Um, you guys are here. We're super mm -hmm. excited. Yeah. So pumped. Thank out. you for coming, first of all. Well, thank you for having no us. Doubt, let's man. just say this yes. is uh this is fantastic. It's so it's so crazy because like I think it was just like a few months ago, uh our guy Josh was he was like, Yo, you gotta you know, this guy Tom Sakura yeah. broke his arm and shit. I, I I've seen your Netflix shit yeah, yeah. before, you know, so yeah. I knew who you were. I didn't know you did a podcast, so I told you I don't yeah. know shit. I'm stupid. No, it's so, all good, man. When it comes to anything like in real life shit, I'm like lost in some other world. You completely <laughs> blew our mind in the lobby here because I was like, Oh, Talking about you know I got I'm on I had this nerve transfer and I was like how did That's your uh, operation go and you're like nah, I just didn't do it I, I, yeah I, I man I've had so many I'm, I'll take the pass option probably on the operation <laughs> even if they tell me I got to get one I'm, I'm like just because look man it, it doesn't bend fully no more you know what I'm saying but it works you it know does what I'm saying work. I, I can pretty much do almost everything I could but can we look at it real quick because we have it sure up. sure so what? this is uh, you have yeah an injury. Cool. Yeah, you don't know this? No. Oh, what? You haven't seen it? No. Awesome. So yeah, oh. this is all out right. of touch as me. Oh, Good. Shit. Ready? No, I don't yeah. feel so dumb. Okay. Which okay. one are we looking at? This one. Oh, okay. Ow, parkour! I broke my arm! Oh, my, my arm's broken! Yes. Ah! Fuck, dude! Wait. Wait. Slow mo. No. Ow, parkour! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and you even say a joke. Dude, we yeah. were doing a parkour. It, you got to commit to the yeah. bit. But you commit committed to the bit. Because we like, yeah. were jumping all over shit at the park. And you know what I'm saying? And we're done what? doing everything, you say parkour. And you run out the way, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, but let's and, not undersell the wooden Dutch clogs. That's yeah, what did the, it yeah. in. That's yes. what that's the what challenge the, was. Yeah. To We had to wear uh, wooden Dutch clogs that he found at some like fair in the middle of nowhere. There's a place in Michigan called Holland, Michigan. And oh. they have a big tulip festival every mm -hmm. year. Picture me at a tulip festival. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, know, like, same that's... token, picture Pac rolling yeah. while you're yeah. doing that. That's yeah. heavy shit. But, uh, sorry, I'm not used to professional shit. My no, bad. It's all good. That might be uh, unprofessional the way it's moving. <laughs> <laughs> but, but wait, I fucking. Fuck. So anybody watching this, and if you're just watching this now, you're like, oh, that dude's arm just fucking went. The way yeah. it's not supposed yeah. to go. Like yours, it was. Yeah. No, your shit was worse, dog. Yeah. I seen, I seen yeah, your my shit. My shit was bad. Wow. Wait, but Yo, I don't your shit how. was just pinned backwards, like yeah. hyper extended all the way back. Yeah, well, this, well, we. I like hyper extended my knee, but this shit I was. My that. arm was also snapped in half. Right. The the, oh, the big bone, bone broke. Big oh, bone. Oh, see, I didn't break no. I didn't break nothing. So that's the what? thing. First of all, you look at that, and I'm like, I can't believe that arm's mm -hmm. not broken. The second it hit, I knew it was. It wait, was so so what did happen? Because it yeah, looks so like. Yeah. So wait, what? Like you. All right, I'll set it up right quick. Okay. All, yeah. all right. So anyhow, so we're we're shooting a vlog, and and the whole thing was I was in Holland, Michigan, and 
Oh, we went to one of the gift shops before we left, and they had the fucking Dutch shoes, the wooden boys. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I was just, come on, man, this is already right in itself. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. fucking clog. We could do so much shit in these. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So in my mind already, I'm like, okay, we can fucking do like a foot race. We can like ride some mountain bikes through some trails or something. Yeah. And do like physical shit just in wooden yeah. clogs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So we started out in the morning. By going to the mall and try to mall walk with all those people mm -hmm. in them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really but we got kicked fun. out. We so got kicked quick. out. Security wasn't having it. Yeah. 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 But by the time, you know, we, we you know, the way that usually when you, people get kicked out of malls, it's usually kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, fuck you. You mm -hmm. ain't no cop. No, I was cool as shit. But by the time we left, I shook his hand. Mm -hmm. I found out that he was the fucking uh, guy with swords and armor at the Renaissance Fair. Yeah. Who would have known if it, we wouldn't have did that vlog? You know what I'm saying? Wow. The no. local fucking security <laughs> mall guy. Yeah. So how hard is it to walk in those wooden It sucks. Clubs? They don't bend. No. Yo, no they, bend. Yeah, they, yeah they, they, and then so when I bought them, they told me they're like, you got to get weather stripping and put it on this piece right here because it digs into your top of your uh, foot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It fucks you up like big, like two did you steps do that? in. You didn't do that. Though. Yeah, I had to. We, we did. Yeah, we okay. Did. Yo, we did. if we're gonna commit to this mm -hmm. all day, there's no way uh, it would have cut your foot open. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And I'm not out here intentionally trying to get hurt at all. You right. know what I'm saying? And uh, so anyhow, so got the shoes back, and then uh, so the morning we set it up, we're like, okay, we're gonna do. The mall, we're going to do this, 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 and then uh, we'll try to wrap it. We'll do parkour, and then we'll do a race. You know what I'm saying? And we'll start find some high school and just do the track there, you know? Yeah. And we're like, all right, cool. So the morning goes great. Did it do? Second place we head to is the park to do parkour. <clears throat> it's only like fucking 10 in the morning at this yeah. point. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right? Oh, right. Yeah, I've just been up for a couple hours. You know what kind of fucking lousy start of the day? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, you know, there's just so many better things could have happened. But uh, so anyhow, so we're we we, we, we do we're doing the parkour, all these silly little fucking bits. And that other slide, there's another small slide to the left. And it's like a little wavy shits, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So he slid down that and it was fucking shits and he like bumped his fucking yeah, nuts I, on it. I took the, the, yeah, the, we call it a Chad. Yeah, it's like really, the, yeah, the, the taint, yeah. Chad. Yeah, yeah. Your whatever. taint. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. I never Between heard your, Chad until your, your, your balls and your I, asshole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I heard Chode. Yeah. We said Chode. No. Chode is a fucking I, crazy I, small dick piece. Yeah. Well, no, like no, a it's a wide boy. Like scientifically small. It's a wide boy. Oh no, your chode, that's like a thick no, dick. I, that, there's, it's a big uh, misconception. Big debate in the, in the world. No, but uh, I've never even heard those that, mixed up. I've, wrong. I've never wrong. heard that a chode mixed up. Oh, you know what yeah. I used to get mixed up with chode? Was chum. Like shark bait. Oh, I used right. to always call it chode. Oh. I'd be like, oh, oh. you're gonna throw some chode out? They were probably like, what the fuck <laughs> is this guy talking about? <laughs> guy, no, don't ever throw your this chode out as a shark. Yeah, near the ocean for sure. You might catch like a little bluegill or something, but... So wait, he went down, you busted your tail. So anyhow, yeah, so he busted his shit and I was like, yo, that was... I'm very competitive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I can't be upstage. I can be to a certain point, but mm -hmm. like I'm like looking at this. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go on the bigger slide. And, but I was confident. <laughs> I was confident I could do it. You know what I'm saying? There was no like, maybe I shouldn't, nothing. I was like, yo, I'm just going to sleep. Seeing how easy he did the smaller slide, I was like, there's no question I can do this. So I went, that little, what fucked me up was that little archway at the top because yeah. I, I tried to slide down before I fully stood up to try to hurry up and just get it in, and yeah. that's where I fucked up. Right. And the second I hit, of course, I knew my shit was broke. And then, uh, so, uh, so what do you got? You get up from here, you go straight to an ER or no? Yeah. yeah. Well, what freaked me out the hardest it was, it was, I didn't realize it when it happened, but when I hit the floor, I completely knocked the wind out of myself, but I didn't realize it cause my arm, you know what I'm saying? So when I got up, I just walked over to like the, there's a little parking lot right there. It was where the shade was. So I just sat back down in the shade and, uh, I'm like, yo, I'm panicking cause I can't, I'm like, why can't I fucking breathe? You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. I broke my arm. Yeah. How come I can't breathe? And I realized, oh, I fucking knocked the wind out of me. So once I realized that, I was cool. And then all these fucking yeah. idiots are all panicking and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, look, man. So, oh, man, oh my bad. And my then, fucking and then, bad. And then fucking the yeah. best part was right there in the parking lot was just some juggalo kid just be like, Hey, you all right, Shaggy? I'm just yeah. like, oh, fuck it off the fucking time. You're kidding. Took a fucking photo. I yeah, told him, I was like, upload it. Who gives a shit? I was like, I was like yeah, fuck, I don't yeah. care. I, whatever. But uh, yeah, so then I, I just had uh, our, our guy uh, call my wife. I was just like, yo, just ask her what fucking emergency room to go to so she knows which one to meet me at. You know what I'm saying? So he's all like, oh, if I was going to take him to an emergency room, what? I'm just like, just fucking tell her, man. Who gives a shit? She knows I'm out here we didn't want shit. We didn't want to tell her that we broke his arm. Like, it, it felt yeah. like little kids not care. wanting to tell mom. So wait, you know? Cares, but when the ER did they x-ray you first yo yeah. all right so well first they shot me up with painkillers you know what yeah. I'm saying of course after I did the paperwork with my left hand uh and so so they hooked me up with that and it was, still didn't matter man that shit did like nothing you know what I'm saying and they took the x-rays and all that you know and then uh the doctor came in he was just like I don't know what to tell you but uh, and right when he said I was like yo what happened 
He was like, it's not broken. What? He was dude? like, you know, you're the third person today that I started like that and they questioned me before I could finish. I was like, well, maybe you start a different fucking approach. You know what I'm yeah. saying? To come in, well, you know, it's not so good. Uh, you know, this shit's all right. You so know at like, first, yeah. before he actually you, he was like, this shit's broken. Oh, he was like, he was like, no doubt. He was like, yeah, yeah. this is, he was like, you, you did this doing what? He was like, yeah, it's fucking broke. It's like yeah. looking at it where it's, I didn't, I didn't, where it was all swollen up and shit, you know? <sighs> and uh, so he was just like, when he saw the x ray, he came in, he was like, I can't explain to you how. But it's not broken, so go see a orthopedic guy. You know what I'm saying? So whatever, I set that up, and then uh, I went in there. And this was like maybe two weeks later, something like that, week and a half later, something like that. We told me to keep. I had to like keep it a certain way so it didn't stiff or some shit. Some doctor yeah. orders. Yeah, I don't know whatever. Yeah. who yeah. follows those. Seriously. But anyhow, so uh, yeah, definitely <laughs> <Right>. not you. <laughs> yeah. so, so anyhow, uh, yeah. So uh, and when I went, they did the MRI, and uh, he he looked at it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, actually, he sent me to go do the MRI. So I went to the, the orthopedic guy. He looked at it. And he was like, okay, pretty much it's the, oh, and by this time I had that clip. So I was able to show him what happened. I didn't have yeah. to describe. It was like a fucking moron. You know, yeah. oh, I was like, wooden clog. I was on clogs swear, on a slide. I, I told like four <laughs> doctors that story the whole time. And I had to start from the very beginning each time. Oh so they'd understand why the fuck <laughs> I was on a slide and clogs. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say, well, I was sliding on a clog. I got to explain myself. Did they, you know? they must yeah. have liked having it on video, right? They're like, oh, okay. Oh, it was dope. The, yeah. the nurse was in the vlog. She was like, Dilaudid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was like, wow, what a trooper. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, you can hit her up out back, go get some Dilaudid. And she's like, yup. You know what I'm, saying? I'm like, fuck yeah. Did you get what a sport. Did you get Yo, I, it's worth breaking your arm just for it. Dilaudid that shit. is yeah. the what? fucking it's best. Good it's good that that's not a, is that available on the streets? If it is, look out, man. Holy fuck. Fentanyl was fun too. I like fentanyl. I don't know. I, I used to take that for my back. I had a patch, but it's, I never got oh. fucked up. I, I, it's nothing I, like Dilaudid is the I pissed yeah, negative the on a piss test. Well, with a fentanyl patch on. Really? How? I don't I don't maybe my immune system to the fentanyl. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus. No, I, I don't fuck with that. So wait, shit. you got the MRI. Right. So I get the MRI and uh, and uh, I never went back. But the doctor did tell me before I got the MRI. Just snuck that in there real quick. <laughs> right. And I never went back. Yeah. But he said that he he looked at it and she he saw my range of motion, which basically was like at the time, like maybe that, you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. it hurt like a bitch doing. And um, he said, it's kind of just like, like a baseball player throwing out his arm. It's like, you probably got some tears in your tendon. It should heal on its own. But why don't you go get an MRI? We'll see where to go. So you don't there. know what the MRI results are? No. <laughs> they, they emailed it to me. I never looked at them. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know this why. This is breaking news will to you me, at least, by the will way. Will you please just do this? Just this. What? When when you get back, yeah. call the doctor that sent you the I email. I don't know his <laughs> fucking name. That's the problem. I was going to. I was going to, but I don't know his name. Wait, I from the email. Name. From the That's email. That's like some long Reference shit. the email. But then I got to look and find. I don't know where to find that. <laughs> In your email. I told you I don't know shit about nothing. I just want I just want you to, to document a, like a speakerphone call uh, with like, yo, what's up with this MRI? Oh, like get him on there? Get him on and have him be like, yeah, dude. Your tendons are torn in half, or whatever they are. I mean, I could probably just go by like his office and just see. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Yeah, call him. Yeah, you could Because I'm at the point now, seriously, where I, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? It's you feel like, good. Well, I don't. Uh, there's you so much shit it. locked up and broken in my body. This is just really yeah. another added collection yeah. thing. Yeah, but whatever. I can move it. It works. So is there, you have other injuries. I ain't got time to fucking have that no. on my shit for seven months. You no, know what I'm saying? Know. I got to pop fago bottles open. I ain't got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, that's a big that's part true. of my career. Yeah. I can't be fucking around yeah. my right arm like that's that. True. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't fucking open them bottles. What I'm supposed to do on stage? You know? That's true. That's true. Facts. That's so yeah, you know, that's, that's my beauty arm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I learned a hard lesson that day. You know. what I'm I want to know how did you guys. Like get to get. How did you guys meet up? Uh, actually, we we had uh, our company hired him for social media. I, mm -hmm. I knew him around like the scene a little yeah. bit, you know. So I didn't properly know him, but like I knew, yo, this kid does like comedy and shit. He's like, I knew him as a stand up comedy mm -hmm. comic in the Juggalo world. Okay, and he would be hosting events at the gathering and shit for us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Juggalo <laughs> Night Court and all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I called him a couple times. I was like, all right, he's a funny dude, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is what it is. I'm fucking stupid busy anyhow. And uh, so then uh, we started working for us doing our social media, you good. know, I, I, I kind of like fucking it opened my eyes to it. I didn't know how to do Instagram. I didn't know how to do none of that stuff. Yeah. And then when he started working for us, he was like showing it to me. And I was like, oh, shit, maybe I should do a, a Instagram shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so I just had all these dumb ideas. And I was like, you know, what? it'd be cool also to like make this Instagram lead to some shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then so he was already like in the process of like doing vlogs and shit that really wasn't doing shit with. And then he brought it to me, and I was I used to do some shit in the uh, late '90s and early 2000s called the Shaggy Show. I just bring a camera with mm -hmm. me on the road, and we'd be fucking around and shit wow. like that. Yeah. And uh, they were long and drawn out, and they were on the actual VCR. It would take a VCR tape on your shoulder camera. Yeah. And I would sit in the back of the bus with uh, like that 
going to a VCR, editing it myself. You know what I'm saying? And then, really? Then I would take I would take the uh, the the VCR tape <clears throat> and I would send it to our office wherever I was at in America, and I'd send it to the office. And I don't know how the fuck they'd upload it on the computer, but it looked like shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, but it, it you know what I'm saying? So I was like, the idea sounds awesome. I tried like rebooting it a couple of times, but it just never really worked. You know what I'm saying? And then when, uh, when I was talking to him, we just shot like a, I guess a, what you call a pilot vlog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the chemistry was cool and all that, you know what I'm saying? We, we just kind of clicked the way we bounced off each other and I was just like, let's do it, you know this what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's fucking mad, you know, uh, mad fun. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. All this streaming shit to me, fun, it's brand man. new, you know what I'm saying? I don't mm-hmm. know nothing about it. I started when quarantine started, probably like 10 billion other people yeah. streaming shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, we got like a you guys YouTube are having a lot of fun. Like you, yeah. you guys are having a lot of fun together. Oh, so silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I loved you. We, you yeah. and I were DMing each other, mm-hmm. and I'm like, these guys are just silly. Yeah, yeah. like you kind yeah. of remind us a little of Tom and me, except maybe a little. Well, he definitely a be little you. more advanced. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> think me and me and Tom have a similar build. Oh, well, I guess I would say. You would have similar build. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys are fun. Like you throw yeah. pies in each other's faces. Oh, no, pie five. fiving. That's it's a gonna difference. take over the world. I'm yeah. telling you, pie, pie, pie yeah. five. We are we are shooting a vlog where we are just punching food. <laughs> mm-hmm. We just went to the grocery store and bought like two fucking. Uh, just, it's basically, our vlogs are the shit you couldn't do when you're a kid. Kind of. Yeah, That's yeah. Great. We bought like two fucking grocery carts full of food, and we stuck it to the park, and we're fucking karate chopping and punching it, and hitting yeah. it with fun. baseball bat, pitching it. And there was like a fucking like a drunk guy that would just showed up and he was a part of it all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Bobby. Yeah, fucking yeah. some fucking super Bobby. drunk. You know, the police came and got him. Yeah. He was that type of drunk, like a nuisance. You know yeah, yeah. Somebody called I didn't call him, but yeah. somebody called the police on him. Yeah. And uh, you know, say just dumb shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, so that we we were about to be done, we had two pies. We were like, look at so what should we do? We were like, oh, what about a high five? I was like, what about a pie five? We we're like, high five with pies. So we did it. We were like, oh, shit, that's yeah. something. It sounds like fun. Yeah. So that's all we do it. now is pie five. That's man. all you're going to see at the, yeah. at the gathering. It's, just it's already five. starting. Oh, yeah, yep. but we're just going to come out with like a fucking like three hour long pie five compilation. Yeah. Boom. Any kind of pie, it could be a McDonald's drive-through pie. It could be. Pie. We want people out there doing it. We yeah. we just did we a vlog it, yeah. at, a, at a, uh, this pie place in Michigan, and they yo yeah. real pies, not even <laughs> Walmart boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. real motherfucker. They yeah. made them in front of our faces. We made them with them, and you just tried yeah. them in front of them. And then yeah. we pie five yeah. with them. You know what I'm saying? It was fucking great. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, pie five, man. Yeah, no, it, it's been really fun. Um, uh, for me, yeah, I was doing a lot of stuff behind the scene. I kind of grew up a fan. Which it's still kind of crazy to me. Yeah, you know, like I was explaining it to my dad. Like my dad is a huge. This is like, this, this is a, go ahead. It's, it's like a huge Led Zeppelin fan. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you're getting to work with <laughs> your hero. With it, your it, that's what I'm comparing me to his dad and Led Zeppelin. Why are you? Why are you? Well, yeah. <laughs> but I was but, a kid when Led Zeppelin was out. No, I'm saying what my dad likes. I know. Yeah. yeah. You're good. But you know what? Now that I've just been talking to the two of you, and especially listening to you, I I get it now. Like I know why. You're such a draw and this community of juggalos. It, how do I say this? You're so real and you're oh, so I, lovable. And I Wow, get lovable? It. Yes. Yeah, a, Let me tell you. I mean, I, I'd go I, with likable. I know that's you're what, so That sweet. was my lane, but I guess I'm lovable now. I love it because I can smell, I feel like I smell bullshit a mile away. I thought away. you were going to say just normal shit. I was like, yeah. no, sorry, you're not I didn't normal. put you up. It's well, been hot out today. But you're no bullshit. And I think there's something really well, it is cool. interesting because, like, we were talking about, like, what, like, what anybody is aware of the phenomena, like, of what, what has you guys have created, of and course, what you built. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's wild to it, it's, to think of like the way you affect people's it, lives. It is. You know? Picture being the one that's doing that. That's you know what, what I'm saying. saying. None of this was intentional. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is the craziest part. It just organically grew into what it was. You know, we didn't even, we never we didn't make up the word juggalo. Mm-hmm. You don't say, I don't know where the fuck it came from. You don't even know? Juggalos came up with it. Straight and, the and, fuck up. And you, you know, attribute it to out here, like, you know, they, they call their fans shit. Yo, hey, my whatever the fuck's. Juggalo wasn't done like that. We didn't come up with that. The only thing that I guess we were oh, I was talking about, like, what do you attribute, like, such, like, the, the fandom to? And one thing I think you said was, because I, I heard somebody one time in an interview say, they were, they were at the gathering, I think, and they mm-hmm. were like, well, you know, when you come here, you just be who you want to be. Yeah, like of you course. Can be yourself. Oh, that's huge. Yep. And not, and Some people take that line too far, though. Yeah. <laughs> they walk around, they're like a fucking Batman mask on, like yeah. their dick hanging. It's like, yeah. come on, yeah. guy, put some not, pants. Yeah, Nobody yeah. wants to see that. No one. Yeah, you that, that's who you, you are. You, you can. You yeah. can. But yeah. come on. Nobody really. Uh, yeah. I'll show you. Um, yeah, too much. Wait. This is a. Uh, I, I saw this clip a long time. We played this on our podcast. Maybe I'm not kidding you here. Close to ten years, probably like eight or nine years oh, ago. Oh, I love. And it's from this. 
It's from a. a oh, I you guess guys a, were doing this podcast nine years ago. We did. Oh. We started this in 2010. Holy shit! Yeah. That's awesome, wow. man. Yeah. Wow, fuck! I, wow, I wouldn't have known what. Oh, yeah. this yeah. we've had our eye on the Juggalos for mm-hmm. quite a while, my uh, friends. And it's from a American <laughs> Juggalo. I'm sure you've probably seen it, right? Wait, um, American Juggalo. Is that? Well, but it's just like I wait, guess there was a out? camera crew that was at a gathering. Anyways, we used to play this clip, like over and over, as one of like these funny, like first a clip and then the drop over and over. Because it was just so funny to me, the way this guy spoke. I'll uh, tell you for real about being a juggalo, man. Yeah. That shit made me the motherfucker I am today. Honest to God, man. If it wasn't for fucking Jay and Shaq, that shit would not be on. I would be, I don't want to fucking think the kind of motherfucker I'd be. I grew up to be a fucking decent, fucking good-hearted, good-natured motherfucker. Hold on. Wait. I'm a fucking nice <laughs> Wait, person. Yeah, hold on that. Cook like a motherfucker. Make some fucking straight-up fucking grub. Fucking chicken fried steak. Fucking collard greens, fucking mashed potatoes, all that fucking good ass sausage gravy, biscuits. Why is he talking about this now? Everything, man. I cook like a motherfucker. I want to find a skinny ass little bitch yeah. and make her fat. Then we go lose weight together and we'll bond. Uh, that's all in the same. Uh, that's all in the always, same fucking he's sentence. He's the best. Yeah. Wow. Sounds always, like he's got his five year plan, huh? <laughs> his laugh. Oh, we used to always just uh, do something and we just play. Uh, <laughs> this is a, his laugh over and over. This guy's lived with us for a decade. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's, he's high. I'm, I'm guessing he is. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's probably not of weed either. Uh, no, something. Fucking okay, mashed potatoes. No, that's definitely weed. Yeah. <laughs> that's weed. He's talking about yeah, with the food, food, yeah, with wait, have you have you not seen that before? I, I I've seen it, but I, I don't recall that part. I seen it so yeah. long ago. I think, I, man, I don't know. Yeah, of course. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. I don't, I'm, I'm done fronting. I don't but do know. You, I probably do you, didn't. Do you attribute those? Let's just fucking call it. Let's call it what it is. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. Right. I'm trying to be nice yeah. and no, perfect, yeah. but I never seen this shit, man. I think I might have seen like little clips. It looks familiar, but what do I know? But what? the le- the level of fandom is it's so, insane. It's, yeah, like you you guys have talked about it before on your show um, about you know tattoos people get yeah and it's yo it's not just ta- it's like yo it's like their whole fucking body it's not just a tattoo bro yeah it's like head to toe murals you know we, what i'm saying it, how, how do you let me ask you a question yeah as 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 a person a, a normal person put all celebrity shit aside you know what i'm saying all of that shit you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying you're just a dude that works at 7-eleven on tuesday afternoon you know what i'm saying yeah and some motherfucker walks in with your face tattooed all over his body. Yeah. It's no different for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It still blows the fucking wig way off my head. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? My wig is fucking back at Timbuktu somewhere, dog. Yeah, like. Straight the fuck. Yeah. You put me on yeah. you? What the fuck? And, the, and then yeah. they just pull it up like it's nothing. I'm just like. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how to say thank yeah. you. Short of sucking his dick. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You I know mean, how do you say thank you to that? You one know? guy got a tattoo of me on his arm. And then he was like. I'm coming to your show. And I was like, all it's, right, uh, you want tickets? He's like, no, I got tickets. And I was like, see, now in your situation, when somebody gets a tattoo of your face, you probably think he's a fucking wackadoo, though. I do. Like an obsessed yeah. weird <laughs> fan, right? Yeah. Like, oh, no. I think you're out of your mind. Yeah. But yeah. to me, that's a natural thing in yes, my world. You, it's insane. Yes, yes. Like, it's like, it's flattering. It's like, holy now, wait, shit. Getting a tattoo. But yeah, I could see. That's why I was wondering. I was like, yeah, just a picture of your do face you think, just chilling on somebody. Do you think that this is going far? You know, I do. Yeah, that's. Say, uh, I appreciate all the comments. <laughs> You know, we all make mistakes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that's just freshly no. done too. That, what do you mean? Yeah. Having this on my face has been a destruction to my life. You think? <laughs> you fucking think? Emotionally, I can't it's have a decent life me. with this on my face. What the? F- are you just now you know, thinking of this? All kind of took me out there, far beyond space can reach, <laughs> and I'm trying to turn my life around. How? And try like, to be the best of the best I can be. The, the only thing so he it, can be in life now is a violent J impersonator. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's all he can do for work it's now. It's about time I'm 35 years old. I, oh, my God. I need to do something. No, this to do turned his that. life around. No, no, look, this oh, turned his shit But hold on, though. That, like, he's talking about how it ruined his life. Now, look how fresh and clean and new that tattoo yeah. is. That's like fresh out the chair almost. Like, <laughs> just done scabbing type shit. So this affected his life quick. quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Enough to 
flushing down wow. our drains, obviously. Yeah. He's like two hours later. Right. Was Damn, man. We fucked his life yeah. up fast. <laughs> like, he fucked it. I had nothing to do you with that. You had nothing to do with that. That guy's out of his fucking goal. I always no, to, exactly. to like this guy, I want to be like, hey, you know the real guy's just painted on, right? That's yeah. what I was just thinking. <laughs> like, like, you can just do I that I thought I might use your tattoo on it, but come on, man. What no. the fuck kind of weirdo fuck does yeah. that? I know. Wow, oh boy, I wonder back. what's going on with the face. He looks like you. It's a very glasses. slow, slow, slow process. Oh, it's going to take Laser removal? Maybe two, yeah. three years for it to actually. He's doing it. Yeah. It's see horrible. some major, major results. You ever see shit after his sleep? Like one session oh, of this? Oh, he, he oh my them God. Into detox. He, oh, he so does that on his face. He posts them. Yeah, yeah it's so painful. Certain it's lighting like makes it look darker, shit. and certain air lighting makes it look brighter. <laughs> but you know, yeah, I made some very horrible. Regrettable, <laughs> if you want to call him regrettable, it's just I don't. Sad. It's mistakes. It's, it oh, he, sad. He's a, it's not regrettable. He doesn't regret it, but it was a mistake. It was Isn't that a like mistake. a kind of a re- no? I guess it, it, you can separate the two if I you guess really so. want. If you want to like fool yourself, I guess you can. Wow. <laughs> hey y'all, I just want to explain this tattoo process. We got it. We got it. It looks like you might have been in the army at the some point too, or something. It, that that hair, yeah. You just never gave it up, you know. Top layer skin. Then they just go deeper. His and accent is not making him skin, sound so smarter at all. Yeah, no, <laughs> at all. Matter. You ever hear like uh, somebody that's really smart talking the hillbilly accent? Yeah, yeah. It never Instantly, you're, you're like, you're, I don't, you're, I'm not giving you my money, you yeah. dumb fuck. And they're like, I went to Harvard, man. It'd be like, like, no, you mm. didn't, you lying hillbilly. <laughs> Are all the videos just sad? Uh, just I know, the same I know. angle? Like, yeah, can, we just, can we fast forward to the eight. bubbles? Let me see. He's had a few times. I understand, man. All right. Hey, I got another thing to say. It looks like it's Sharpie on it. Somebody tried wiping it off. It does. Like he passed out drunk and, you know. Yeah. (laughs) Somebody fucked him up. Now I'll say this. It does look a little better. (laughs) Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It it looks less worse. It does not look any better. (laughs) It's less worse. Let's get that straight. Vote for Trump. Okay. So we're talking voting now, but I guess he's we do. Play. He's turning he's turning his life around. Yeah, man. see, now he's got the attention from the. That's what yeah. he's, that was his ploy all along. Just to get the to attention. reel him in. <gasps> oh, so what? He, that's when he got it. He was Fuck like, I'm not, I don't, I'm, I don't believe it now. No I, way. I don't believe it. Look how little he looks. That that's just 100 percent. Just threw it out the. I don't believe it. That's There's crazy. no way he got that. Old. Come on, man. There, that's no. Did you did you fact check this? Uh. Yeah, Zolo yeah, was saying Zolo yes. did. Wow, I thought maybe he just got it recently, being no, that old. So, okay, okay. Hey, what is he, fucking 16 there? Well, he looks young. Full disclosure, he did a lot of drugs and alcohol. Oh, man, I what? Say, come on, really? Yeah, and that may have aged him prematurely. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> so really, say, this, is only, this, what, this, this was a two-week that's, difference. That is him at 35. That, all right, this is as soon as the scab healed up, that was <laughs> yeah. him. So that two weeks one man, he ate yeah, drugs. Was like, yeah, what man. kind of drugs were those? Yo. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you doing this, man? Yeah, what's I thought up? You, are you not on the team creeper? Like I, I'm in? thinking about. Well, you know what? I was thinking about it, but seeing this video now, I, I think I'm good. I don't want to end up like that. That's that's yeah. many many a fucking. <laughs> It's just sad. You said, you said you were it a fan. It bummed me out. It bummed I mean, me out. Yeah, right. But are you a fan you, or what? I, I'm going to be honest with you. I hate face paint. I fucking I, I was I gonna say that. What, what, what is what is what is a fan? What is, it's short for fanatic, right? Fanatic. Yeah. Fanatical motherfuckers do fanatical things. So yeah. What's up? Is that motherfucker a fan? Uh, he used to be. Yeah. No question. <laughs> I'm your pal. <laughs> I'm your pal. You, At one point, there was a hundred. Oh, do you, fair enough. Do I'm you think pal. he can even listen to the music anymore? Uh, after, no, probably not. Probably yeah. not. He sounds like a whole different guy. I bet. He, I bet if your shit comes on, he just fucking puts you. <laughs> oh, he's got it. Yeah, you're so right. There's no. Yeah, he's just like. This is the shit that set me off from the wrong. Yeah, we probably don't. We probably don't dig up. Good memories. This, this is the music that no. ruined my life. Yeah, he's not. He's not gonna have to be a good day in his car and turn us on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let's get this day started. Fuck. That's so funny. Oh. Yeah, ICP is your like depression music. He's oh like, my oh, god. Fuck. Jesus what Christ! The fuck did I, I do love that? his chin hair too. What the fuck? Yo. Yeah. Well, how? How? Wait, he had to have been old enough to grow chin hairs like that at least. No. Yeah, you're he right. He had to have been at least. Maybe 18. he was just really young looking. Eighteen. Probably like in that college. Yeah. So he he held onto that shit for like fifteen. I years. thought those were teardrops on his. That's a hatchet man on his face. Yes, he went. Oh for, he went shit. all in, bro. He went up oh. full retard. <laughs> full. Right, like the move. There's no going back. <laughs> full retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, and every day he's just waking up living with. Could regret. you imagine? Dog. Wow, I don't, I, I don't even know what to say to that guy. If he came up to me, I, I, I'm does, he, like, does he? I wouldn't approve. He... I'd be like, "What the fuck? Yo, yeah, what are you doing?" Can man? I just tell you, I, watching... I, I, I might slap him, but probably not. I don't no. know. Just to put some sense into him, you know. Watching this TikTok with him, the best thing. <laughs> the best. Never in my wildest <laughs> dreams. I didn't know I this existed. This would happen. Dude, we, we, we had God, so much great. fun when we found this so guy. Much I, 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 wow, I'm just, I'm like, my jaw's on the floor, like. 
wow, somebody is this. Shit, so is ours for like, we covered him for like <laughs> that's two why, years. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's like not shocking no, to me now. Yeah, yeah. You're so like, used to it. Okay. We're so used to him. You gotta understand, I'm st- yeah. this is the first time I've seen this, so it, uh, it's fucking crazy to me. <laughs> I've, I've heard of people doing like the tattoo face paint and stuff, but yeah, that's that's. Funny. I heard some, there, was a, there was another wow. guy on our label that had face paint, and I heard somebody had this face done up like him, but. I don't know what happened with that, but this, I've never seen no TikTok shit like this. I mean, to show, if your thing TikTok is like, either, I but. only show my, I want to show my level of fandom by getting facial tattoos of what the pros okay. paint on. But he didn't even finish okay. the what? job. Now, he look, didn't even okay, go this, all the way. Well, this, yeah. this is the best way I can, this is the best way I can explain my feeling towards this. Yeah. The way you probably felt when that crazy fan came up to you with yeah. the tattoo of your face. Like some tattoos are acceptable. Yeah. You don't know say you get a record cover or something on your arm. Okay, yeah. whatever the fuck. I understand people got Pink Floyd tattoos. You sure. know what I'm saying? Whatever. But <laughs> you don't know say that's that's obsessive weird shit, man. Yes. You don't know say that that you're not yeah. right in the fucking head if you get shit like that done. <laughs> and I don't want to be around you. You need to be medicated. Maybe he is now. Maybe that's why he's like Oh yeah. He still sounds he definitely dumb as had a fuck cut. though. <laughs> don't he? He sounds that's... really fucking dumb when he talks. <laughs> He does Just so a, fucking dumb. He does. Like, Weird would you TikTok. let him babysit? Fuck no. no. Exactly. No. Even without yeah. the without the face paint. Where are the face tattoo? That's not even paint. What am I talking about? Oh my god. Yeah, he sounds dumb as shit. I um, wonder why he took the piercing out of the lip too. You can see the hole where it used oh to be. Yeah. Everything changed. Everything yeah. changed. So it's not just the makeup. It was a Caesar cut and Dog. the fucking soul patch. He literally was like, "This shit has ruined my life." <laughs> I don't think his life was going nowhere from the get. He, he looks like he's he's working on cars now. I I, I don't know what's going on, man. Oh, this God, is God, complete this is life. It kind of looks like Murr from the Practical Jokers, don't it? Like yeah. he's trying to yeah. prank from or something. From that more. angle, yeah. Wow. What do we have? Oh, Are these, oh, this is another true this is an ICP thing? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Hold on. Fuck. PSA. Please stop using the fucking audio contract if you don't know who ICP is and you've never fucking... The it's what? very What's offensive to me as a let and the other lows and the lets out there. I'm pretty sure of it. ICP would love your makeup, but not that you don't know the words. <laughs> oh. So I, like, I didn't understand anything she said. What did she say? <laughs> I think she was saying... Annoying don't white girl language. Don't like, be a poser yeah. fan. Like, don't be like, I'm down with the makeup. Right, if so, so kind of like words. not like a appropriating the clown culture, right? If right, you will. Yeah, well, it's yeah, like yeah. being I'm a goth. So lost. Like what? when what I now? was okay, like when I was goth, like I was all in. You I were was goth? like, oh, yeah. for like Fucking so awesome. many years. Were you hollering when she was goth? Uh, no, I got her. I got Did you her. see the pictures and shit? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like, oh man, yeah, yeah, you yeah. dress up. Like and when that I met again. her, she was wearing like fishnets okay. and smoking. Okay. I know how it is. Yeah, I, I've been married for the a while. The point is, when you're goth, you go all in, you go mm-hmm. hard, which is yeah. I imagine what the juggalos are all about. Like you're either all in this culture mm-hmm. or you're not. But there is perpetrators everywhere. That's yes. what I'm saying. So you're yeah. a fucking weekend posers, whatever. Posers, bro. Yes. Like, there you go. Like you would buy your shit at Hot Topic versus going. I remember. I remember hearing that people would call them Hot Topic juggalos. I remember that. Fuck that shit. Me, but to me, I'm like. Topic shirts, I'm not gonna Here goes my standpoint on that. I'm like, yo, I love Hot Topic Juggalos. Not yeah, just because yeah. of the money aspect, but like some of these kids, like especially back in the day before like internet was real big and shit, you know, yeah. like the 90s yeah. and shit, where would kids buy clothes? You couldn't buy them on the internet and shit. You had exactly. to go through some fan club mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. What if you live in butthole Arkansas? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It's true. Your local mall has a Hot Topics. You go can ahead. get it there, you know? You so it. I say more power to them. Yeah. Well, yeah. See, but they, they don't care about shit no more, what but she's whatever. Saying. She's like, I'm a hardcore juggalette. You don't don't pretend like, don't don't front, homie. Yeah. Well, hey, you know? I mean, I, I can't argue with her, I guess. I don't want to. I, hope, I like it. I hope that shoes. everybody that we <laughs> that has posed, posted a video that we're playing is like, damn. He fucking shit on me. So <laughs> yeah. I didn't shit on no, his you broad. Didn't, you didn't. I know you didn't. But that guy who changed, who ruined his oh, life. Oh, come on. That is. guy's a fucking moron. <laughs> I'll, I'll, hey, I'll stand on that until the day mm. I die. Yeah. Sure, that guy's a fucking idiot. Hey, right. Even when it's all done, up. you're going to see some scar. Yo. You, you hit him in the right light, you're going to see them all fuckers still. Oh, not even And I'm just going to still be, I'm just, I'll just, SMH is all you can do, yeah. right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. There you go. There's Who's nothing you can do. What's up, guys? It's Juggalo ASMR. I think I know him from Big Greets. Really? I, he probably not. I don't know. So many um, kids with him. Well, I just put it on. I made like a video or two today. I think I'm not sure. But I just barely put it on. I didn't have enough white, so mm-hmm. my other white's kind of fucky right now. So I mean, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta work with what you got. Okay. Or you could just go buy some white fucking paint. You'd be, well, you'd be I mean, a true juggalo. Yeah. You, you know don't. What, what if you're poor? And you just don't have the money for clown paint. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, I was a goth, and I, I didn't know. Cl- and I, didn't... I went, you know, I went to the Halloween store once a year. I bought all my fucking makeup supplies. But do you know how hard it is for a clown on the come up? All right, mm. shit. You know I guess saying? not. I guess. I guess fucking not. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that's real shit. Yeah. Wow. You run out of white. Hey, how Sometimes, many times have I ran up like, hey, yo, I need fucking yeah, black. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, 
I would always Scramble. find one in the bottom of some bag somewhere. And he's the fucking guy doing it. All right. right. So yep. just picture this. He's an amateur. All right. Yeah. Cut the guy some slack. Well, how does slack. how is you're being, off, you're being awfully like uh, like uh, critical of this guy. Oh he's my god! Just some kid in his garage. You don't even, you don't even want to know the conversation we I, had before. I don't you even got think here. that he probably just did this for fun. He's not trying to get famous. Well, how's this? his handiwork? The shit out of him. Give me a critique of the work. Well, oh, oh, his face. It looks like it, how do you do? I, I mean, it, of course it looks like shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you'd be silly not to think it does. But like, what if I came <laughs> on your show with that? What if I sat down and I had that on? I'd be like, this guy's fucking. You'd be like, he's not serious. You probably think I was drunk or something, right? He's not serious. You'd be like, oh man, we got alcohol. Here. This yeah. sucks working with these guys, but uh, Dude, yeah, then I, mean, I wouldn't. But, I wouldn't but, but, have but, asked you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, dogging them. I'm not dogging them because for somebody that doesn't do this for a living, yeah, yeah. just putting that on their face like that. That's it, true. It, look how straight his lines are. There's no yeah. blurs or nothing. It looks like a fucking like somebody filled it in with a fire hose or something. But <laughs> other than that, <laughs> how about some good old scissor sounds? Whoa. Okay. Oh. Scissor sounds. Scissor sounds. Scissor sounds. Like two scissors. Gonna pretty much. <laughs> Be all scissor sounds if you guys don't mind. I know there's a lot of people that that's just his video. Like scissor with him. He's doing ASMR. So let's just do guys. Some oh, sounds, all right. what? Uh, what? ASMR. ASMR. So he's just like some people, scissor sounds. Some people just like the find sounds. it pleasurable to hear sounds like that or like. Yeah, people eating Ugh. shit like yes. that. Yeah, I hate that's 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 so I, if my dogs yeah, are even like like licking their faces, I'm like, get the fuck out! No. I, I hate that noise more than anything. It's the worst yeah. noise. You're on not an earth. ASMR guy. It, it, oh, it's man. a huge fucking thing, though. Like, like yeah. those videos huge. get mad millions of hits. Yeah. See, okay, so I understand because, a bologna sandwich. So this guy just likes the scissor noise. So yeah. I, I, I see so. some shit back in the day. I don't know what the fuck it was. I was like HBO or something. I can't remember. But it was like a documentary about weird fucking kinks and fetishes. Oh, it's probably real sex. Real sex. No, no, definitely was not that. I remember that. Shit was big when it came. Okay. It, was, it was on some bootleg shit. It was okay. not on that. Okay, but uh, it was this this fucking big fat dude, and uh, he was like, you know, he's he was he was like maybe like thirty or something. He looked like you know, you know, big fat kid face. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Those yeah. kids, <laughs> rosy cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, you just like, come on, guy. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but anyhow, so it's this type of dude, and he would travel to this club in Manhattan and go to this secret ba- basement for guess what fetish? What? Blowing up balloons until they pop. And he he it, when it pops he busts the nut he's like ah oh. he loves wow. he fucking loves wow. it when they pop and there's a whole fucking room of these motherfuckers so he's together so stoked busting off balloons you know what I'm saying now hold on are they allowed to are they allowed to masturbate at the same I don't time? I didn't get into the specs I just yeah. see they didn't get, they just that, showed that, me that that's a reason to... after I seen that I didn't do no research yeah. you know what I'm saying? I was done <laughs> but with that's it. a reason to go to a place yeah. for that otherwise but you could do I'm that just at saying home, right? right well I, I, it's probably more bigger now you yeah. know what I'm saying like at home yeah. because because of social, you know, whatever computer shits people getting together. Yeah. But yeah, uh, at one point that guy probably was sitting at home just popping balloons by himself. And look what and he has he's now. Like, I'm so fucking. He's a place hard. to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, maybe I'm saying one day yeah. you have a place to do scissors. Who knows? We can only hope. Maybe he's doing it for others. Why is he looking uh, at his other? What's in his other hand? Yeah, why is he holding it like that? The arm. Yo, it, the picture waking up middle of the night and that kid's standing over you doing that. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, just, you just hear that, right? You think you're dreaming. You just hear that. Wow. And you sit up. And you just look up. You like wipe the cold out your eyes. And you look. And it's just this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Same face. I, 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 I you think, know he looks like he looks like John Wayne Gacy right now. Yeah. He, he looks like uh, he looks like the dude from Full Metal Jacket, the one that shoots him. Private yeah. Pile. Private yeah, Pile. Come on, no. fuck yeah. He looks like no. Yes. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's sure. shit crazy pile. too. Look. Yeah. Only he's instead of a gun, he's got yeah. scissors. He's gonna cut his own neck. And then he's doing other sounds with his other hand. Is that what that was? With like little fucking hand dancing bells? Yeah, like he's like clicking on the walls or something. Now I'm assuming you have taken to Superhuman. That's my boy. Okay. I, I was hoping I, so. I can't get enough of him, dog. Yeah, yeah he's, he's so. We, we 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 do a Patreon stream. ICP does. We do uh, a Patreon stream. We're not doing it in August, but we do it every other month. And it's just a, a, a we do it on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And it, every stream is we just do a plethora of dumb shit. And uh, we we throw wrestling like once a month on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. JCW, we got on a wrestling like uh, league or whatever the fuck uh-huh. it's called. In um, your organization, yeah, yeah, whatever. I, fuck, I don't know why I can't think of it. Yeah. You know, rest, a federation, whatever the yeah. fuck, of yeah. wrestling yeah. guys. Right. Right. But anyhow, so, uh, yeah, so uh, we brought him in to do a run-in in a professional wrestling setting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it was fucking fantastic, dog. He's so, dude, that guy. I was so, I was so upset because I, I, I tried to, I like, I don't know DM or nothing. I just went to his Instagram and like left him a message. I was like, yo, come in a day early. I'll pay for your hotel, do the do, so we can shoot a vlog or do some shit together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I, I can't. You know, because I don't know scheduling or oh. his, I think his parents are kind of like his handlers or something. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. But uh, but because his, his mom was traveling with him and shit, and I know his dad does shit with him on it. You know, well, I don't think he's got it fully together. You can't just be doing that. Oh yeah, I mean, this it's, is it's fucking. Hey, you be, you know, today I 
I'm gonna get hit by a wee whacker. <laughs> for chickalos and chickalette. Do not turn this at home and what I hope say? you like it. Whoop whoop! Bro, the gigolos and gigolos. Oh, ah, that happened fuck, to my leg got... before. That shit hurt. Ah, it's not fun. Ah, no. Fuck, fuck, no. Ah, <laughs> See, the, the, so, <laughs> so the, now, it's not even wrestling it, at this point. It makes me laugh so hard. I, I, I can't. My, my <laughs> wife, I swear, my wife was like, "What the? Why you watch that?" What are you looking at that for? I'm like, oh, did you the see best. the one where he drops the elbow on the microwave? <laughs> yes. Oh my god! And the microwave just says, eh. yeah. like that. It just bends around his ribs. Or he's jumped onto like, uh, like uh, was it fluorescent lights? You know what I mean? I'm and, scared for him. Oh he's gonna fuck god. himself yeah. up for real one of these times. Oh, one more. But in the meantime, I'm loving it. Yeah, he's the best. Mouse traps. This is for mouse traps. I never even knew what a gusset toys. was before. Like I, did you know what a gusset was? Uh -huh. I didn't. Now I do. <laughs> you almost want to yeah. feel bad. Oh, but it's, it, come on, man. The oversell is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's great. It's you know, great. At some point, he stepped his game up because when he first started, he was like jumping on mattresses and. Oh, yeah. he's got yeah. platforms you know built and everything. It now. was so shitty. Well, yeah. look at and that. One day, he's, uh, yeah. Legos and toasters and. The shit. first time I saw it was on Twitter. Yeah. It was like it had been retweeted. He, a bunch, he did. Like, he did some shit during the quarantine. Yeah, it was. He did a, a, a fucking live a live stream. On a, no a, shit. A, yeah, and it's, uh, I, I watched it. So I'm so glad that you from. connected with him though. So dog, yeah, I, I, okay. I can I can introduce you to a host of motherfuckers like that. You'd be like, what in the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what have I been missing out on in this world? Yeah, I mean, so, you're talking I asked our wheelhouse. You, this yeah. is what your mom's house is all about. I, 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 you, dog. I, I asked also you. saying, look into a dude named Danny K. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, you write that down. Danny, it used to be Dan the D D A N N Y. Y K yeah now it's D A N N Y K A E he legally changed his name legally to Danny K. K okay okay yeah he's he's he, he lives in Alaska but, now that's all I'm saying I'm not gonna go on no further no we'll definitely look, check yeah, him out it's it. good luck that's all I'm saying it. is good luck do you you said I asked you if you like kind of pinch yourself you can't believe what you've built right like the, the it, yeah, it's, and you it's, say every day it's you, you if you don't put yourself in check you, you i can't imagine putting not putting myself in check you know what i'm saying yeah it's like it's 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 yeah you just look around you're like you, you just want to be I, a rapper i don't i don't feel like i'm i'm that guy you know what i'm saying yeah. I, I i don't feel like um you know what i'm saying i don't yeah. even know how to explain it yeah. but anyhow uh yeah man we this was not a, we started with just two kids that wanted to rap well actually we wanted to wrestle then we wanted to rap and then we started <laughs> rapping we made it big and then we got into wwf because we were stars already Found a loophole, but we did it. Yeah. And WCW and ECW and TNA and all that shit. So you've been on all of it now. All of it. And I, yeah, my body's in great shape from that. You <laughs> 350 pound up. muscular men throwing me around. It was awesome. But it was like my younger How self brutal should be was beating it? the fuck out of me. I should be, huh? How brutal were those? Man, you, whew, really? That's real shit, man. I mean, it, it's all about, it's all about, it's like a dance. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, you're 1000% trusting the other guy. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Trust. If you're in, to the point where you could just be in a fist fight with this guy in the locker room, but you trust him with your life in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're in the same profession. Right. And, and it, it's all about a bounce and a dance and the way you do it. And if the other guy, it's about the other guy doing it and you making him look good and vice versa. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Wait a minute. You don't so do you're that, saying. But you really slam real. the fuck out of each other. The yeah. physical part of it, it it's, it's not real. as real as it looks, but it's real as fuck. Yeah. yeah. But I, I've broken my neck. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, literally. Yeah. You know what did you go no to the bullshit. house? Did you get treated? For I, that? Went, I went. I went. Like, I did, didn't shit. open that email. I didn't, didn't know. Open it, that one. I, did, I no. didn't know it was broken. I went to the hospital. They didn't X-ray. They just t stitched up my face and then uh, sent me on my way. So I was just like eh, for like ever, and then it kind of got better. Kind of got better. And then I couldn't move my left arm, so I just hold it like a <gasps> puppet. And but my hand worked, so I was good. And then, uh, bro, <laughs> Jesus. And then, so finally, out, I went. And then the, the guy, the doctor was like, "Holy fuck, man!" I, was like, the, my, I feel my, like your doctors need to CC your wife on a fucking <laughs> few emails. My wife was a nurse. Picture that. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably for the best. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's straight the fuck up. But a bachelor, like she got the bachelor degree, all that shit. She's a real ass nurse. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh, uh, yeah. So so uh, it turns out there was like a, a fragment, uh, like a shard of my spine or my spinal cord or the, whatever the bones are called in your spine. We're sticking into the spinal cord or vertebrae. Like a whatever. disc, a vertebrae, vertebrae was like. Yeah, whatever the fuck, your bones boys. you can break in your neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. When it broke, a piece went into my spinal cord, into the oh. fucking boy with all the nerves, you know, the, the spinal yeah. cord, right? Yeah, like your spinal column. Yeah, so that's why my arm didn't work, you know what I'm saying? But it didn't hurt, you know what I'm saying? The arm, it just didn't work, you know what I'm saying? So I just. Wow. So and it just came back on its own? No, I never did. I, when I went in there, they were like, yo, you got to, right now, you gotta, we got to get you a surgery, fix your neck. I'm like, look, man, I've been walking around for like six months now. 
just let me go home and we could do it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? He just asked me some hefty shit right quick. You about, and they're going through the front of your neck. How scary is that? That's what they did? That's what they do for necks nowadays. But what did you, you have it done? Or yeah, no? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, then I got that done. Oh, no, no. I didn't get that done then. But uh, what, oh, yeah. How long did you wait? wait? Did oh, no, no. That's the second time I broke my neck when I have. <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to get into it. And you broke it wrestling also? No, no. The second time I broke it from stage diving. Mm. But it, but I finished the show. That was the best part. Oh, but it, yeah, that's when I was walking around for months. And then the first time it just kind of healed. But the reason why I broke so bad the second time was because it was already fucked up for getting broke the first time and kneeling mm. by itself. God damn, dude. Yeah. So the second time it just totally got fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But when I went, they, you know, say they fixed it. And then years later, it's called degenerative disc disease. So like, uh -huh. you just lock up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I had to go back in. They had to cut the. So other this is why I'm worried it. about your right arm. I just you know what? This is the least of my worries. Really, <laughs> straight up. So yeah. we we actually did uh, one of our first podcasts was from his hospital bed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We just came, oh, that's why I got surgery on my neck. Yeah, with a laptop, they did a disc disease. Surgery. Asked the nurses, were like, "Yo, we just started doing this podcast a couple weeks ago." <laughs> yeah. I was and like, we're paying up. To I told him what the deal. She, the nurses yeah. knew who I was and stuff. I was just in a normal ass hospital. There was, a, I think, at one point uh, we were looking at the comments. They're like, "His nuts are hanging out." They had the little <laughs> bib on, so we're like, hey, "Let's tuck those <laughs> okay. in." Okay, I was high. So, yeah. I had that fucking oh, pump yeah. thing. I was just hitting as much as you could. You yeah, know, so blood I didn't feel like I was high, but I was. Now, what about you? You have any broken bones? Uh, you know, I broke my my foot once in high school. Okay. okay. Me and him are kind Collegiate of the polar wrestling. opposite. <laughs> you know, like he's got all, like all the tattoos. He's done wrestling, broken every bone. I'm kind of a straight shooter, man. I'm yeah. kind of, yeah, I'm just pretty, pretty relaxed. How'd pretty you break chill. the bone in your foot? Uh, basketball. <laughs> and I'd never made the team. Uh, okay. Wasn't physically fit. Insult to injury. Just, yeah. just gym class. Shooting the ball around, so and you just I relate it? to the dunk chance. Yeah, you, is what just, I'm you were just standing man, there. I wore this for you today. He was I appreciate like, it, man. He was like, "Come on, appreciate it." I've been eyeballing that toy up there. Which oh, one? I'm just saying. That's from uh, Pierce Paris. I don't know if I can no, get those at Walmart. No, that's not what he's talking about. He's what, talking about what? the dunk champ. The dunk champ. Oh, not the, the fucking dunk enema. Oh. Oh. What? Wait, what is wait, this wait. enema? Oh, now that, we got to go. Let's yeah. backpedal a little that bit. That was in a guy's ass. That was Why would you have it just chilling? Did you wash it, obviously? Yeah, yeah, it was washed. It was washed. Wait, you said no, you said yeah. Yes, yeah. It was on the live show. The live show. the live streaming shows? God, I thought maybe we would So you had to do it on here with that in his ass? Yeah, and then we did ring toss onto it while it stuck out of his ass. Oh my God, that's horrible. Yeah, yeah. You guys do some crazy. Shit, yeah, 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 that's uh, why we uh, wow. have you guys in here. All right, I'm not talking about well, you. Crazy blow shit. it off. Let's let's yeah. not get do the that. Rings Can out. we not do that bit today? We don't. We won't do that. Oh, so you don't do that with all your guests. Not okay, all. Guys. They did. They did <laughs> like sign the waivers when we walked. You know in. what, we, know what, what would be fun to do with you though <laughs> is um, horrible or hilarious. So okay. I'll show you clips. Okay. And you basically just tell me, um, is it is it funny or like is it is it hilarious or is it terrible? Of course. Okay. Charade getting on the top floor in the high rent district. Here funny. he goes, crossing himself. Oh, <laughs> oh God, that's seven right. type of guy laugh first. Yeah, that's me too. Later, me too. Me oh. <laughs> I've seen that happen live, like bad shit like that, like in, in like independent shit. See, oh, just, oh, what a pro, though. What a pro. That, hey, it doesn't matter how independent you are. The show must go on in wrestling. Did it he kick out, matter. or was that a full three count? No, he kicked his leg. Like, ouch! Like, get off of me, please. Oh. Oh, that, can we watch that one more time? Yes, yeah, we can. Please. Oh my God, that is just. <laughs> I Sheree love that the guy pinned the him. Top floor in the high rank district. Here he goes, crossing himself. Oh! I don't. Are, that, that, now what? Did he just do a whole back okay. or did he do a, a flip and then that happened? He did I'm like living. Flip. I feel like missing what happened there because he's like on top of the. Screen. I don't know why. My eyes are shit too. Play it again because I think. Sheree getting on the top floor in the high rank district. Here he goes. Did he do a foot one and a half? Over. Four one and a half. He pushed it. Okay, so if there would have been a pool there, he'd have been gravy. Like that, if there would have been a swimming pool, we'd probably been holding up good numbers. Oh yeah, definitely. That would have been a perfect dive. Boy, you know, that like, commentator no. cut it quick. He, he was he, all hype. That was. He did try to kick out. That's what I'm saying. Look, yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you yes. something. I'm gonna tell, I, and I, I bet you I could tell you why he kicked out. Because in his mind, he was still trying to go. I've been knocked out like that. And but you're trying to not be knocked out mm -hmm. so hard. You're fighting consciousness so hard. Yeah. That in your mind, you still are doing it some, but really you're not. Was you? Were but you, you just keep going and going, even though you. When you were knocked out, was it from like doing right, like yeah, a stunt, oh yeah, like jumping falling off. on my face and my head. Bro, the the first time I broke my neck. Yeah. I mean, it's happened a couple times in wrestling, but like, I mean, that's got to be a bad concussion, huh? Jesus. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. That's probably why. Fuck I, yeah. yeah, it is, dude. But yeah, I I, I feel this guy because I've been in that situation. <laughs> yeah. Not not that. <laughs> my shit was not that bad. Terrible. Wow. Oh my! Oh, oh, this is all just wrestling ones. Well, I just got a couple of them. Oh, that, have you done that before? I feel like I've seen. No, look how I never went up that high. This is up. There. I know motherfuckers that do do that shit. Oh. No, he just he missed. Really? He missed. Everything. No, what? Woo. How 
How is he alive? Oh, Do that, it, whoa, whoa, whoa. we got we to. I'm arm. like upset. Oh, wow. Oh, what, 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 yo, it's a slow mo for you. How did he miscalculate that so badly? Oh. The other guy tried selling it, though. Yeah, he did. Like he got hurt. He you did. Know? Well, like, yeah, because uh, yeah, he's trying to make him look good. Like you good. said, though. Like, even if they guy. miss, you still like act like you yeah. got hit. Just try to sell the God fucking angle. But damn it. Man, that, oh my God. But I'll yo. tell you, that guy is so meaty. Like, he looks so strong yeah. that it looks like his body mass protected him, I want to say. You know what? That, did you know, like, you, you know, all these movies and shit, we got to, like, gladiators are all, like, like bow flex yeah. bodies and shit, all these studs, yeah. you know, the 20 year old studs with bow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Fucking underwear yeah. model motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking yeah. real life, they're like pudgy motherfuckers because they had to be because they got cut. It wouldn't yeah. cut nothing real, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Makes they sense. were like they weren't fat, but they were like you know saying like just this, beefy, not, not even like they like, like big like dude, husky. like the wrestler Nikolai Volkov. Yeah, right? yeah. Back in the day. yeah. Nikolai like just a big Volkov. motherfucker, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, dude. Yep. All right. That was a blast from the past. You learn something new every day. Damn. Oh man, oh, all these are all like these cringe boys. Yeah. I mean. He's out. His boy's yeah, like, yup, it happened, you dumbass. Yeah. That's why what his boy said. Like, how could you, yeah. you gotta be prepared for something like that to happen. Yeah. Doing yeah. That. I mean, of yeah. course you don't want it to, but. You could see that it was building too co- much momentum. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, lost, he, lost, he lost, yeah, he lost his boy. Control. You ever been on a skateboard down a hill and starts wobbling on you? Wobbling. The scariest fucking sensation on earth. I feel like it almost scares, like you expect it more on a skateboard. Because I've been on a bike where you get yeah. so much speed going downhill. I've never fucked like, around yeah. like that. I get scared. Whoa. I hit the brake, boy. I'm not. I'm like, I can't do that. I don't trust the bolts enough. Just showed you this, this last night. Yeah. Just, see- just showed you this last night. There's <laughs> 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 a full video though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you gotta see that I, one. I did, the, the county fair just—I live like right down the street in the county fair. I live out in the fucking sticks now. It fucking uh um and it there was this they were doing like little shows like this. This is obviously from a county fair type yes, shit. You know what I'm yes. saying? So uh, this ain't just your run of a mill city fair. Oh no no no, this is county fair material. <laughs> and uh, they got the pool set up. And they got the high dive shit going on. And these motherfuckers like for real. I'm like, god damn, like this pool is deep, but you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Not for jumping that fucking high. You know uh-uh. what I'm saying? No like it, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm, I, they do it. I'm like, holy shit, that was fantastic. I look, there's 20 people in the stands watching these fucking guys. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And they, 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 I was just leading to something because like when I had broke my arm or whatever, I saw, you know, I don't, I don't get into comments. I don't read them because I don't give a fuck about them. But I did like see one like, oh, look at this guy breaking his arm for 30,000 people. I'm like, Okay, number one, I didn't mean to break my arm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that wasn't yeah. in the fucking plans. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Number two, at least I'm better than these fucking guys risking their life for 20 people. Yeah, exactly. You know so that gave me a nice peace of mind. Well, well, people always say like, Tom, but yeah, come on, man. You, people, you live for this going yeah, to county fairs. Yeah. This is what you want to really. I was gonna see. deep yeah, down. Why don't do you go? You always hope. You why do you? Why, why do you look at this? Because you waiting. Yeah. Why do you watch car racing to see the crashes? Yeah. Yo, th- this is this is like the grand finale of this sport right here. Right. This guy should be a fucking champion of this. Whatever the fuck this is. This was a amazing it's one of my favorites <laughs> it, it died you just tumbled so hard oh, this one i like that sounds like a cartoon oh my God. Oh my God. she's fine she can get up no f- no i'm not okay oh now nah, she's like a little kid that fell yeah. and you yeah. seen her yeah. 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 Oh, she's well, yeah. Flipping. I, 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 I'd be, I, I'd be mad. I'd be mad it's, too. It's no yeah. I, I probably would make her look like fucking well, nothing. Yeah, I'd be mad. It took a while to get into reverse. That's what I noticed from. Yeah, that. and also almost like they did it on purpose. I mean, yeah. this is obstructing bitch. our view, but it's like mm-hmm. that's up on the grass past the sidewalk. <laughs> right. Why and what? Why would he be pulling up? Is it like a kid behind the Yo. wheel or something? Maybe. They was just fucking around with her. Well, it, you know, and it's soft on the grass. Mm-hmm. And her grass oh, looks a little plush. long. Oh, that's plush. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's some nice grass yeah. there. Come on. You see a step and stone? No, that hasn't brought, brought up before. That's a good observation. Well, yeah. she's, yeah, she's like, like, like Shaggy said, I think she's milking it like a toddler. But but, but still, yeah. though, her legs were pinned against yeah. some bricks by a car. By a car. So she does have that going for her. Let's not forget <laughs> yeah. that. That's a, right. it's a legit, oh, yeah, it's a that legit complaint. All right. right. I mean, yeah, I, I would definitely talk to the manager about that. Oh, God. We saw that coming. I got How so many back know? problems that that just hurts looking at. But did why you think that guy I don't was going to do fu- anything magnificent? I don't, I don't give a fuck what he did but or anything. Also, just look at him in general. Look at just him look at him general. before he does it. And also, anybody who's going to try that, look at the width of Dude. this pool. Yeah, you can't it's one of those uh, never-ending pools. I mean, you don't do it you right can't there. can't do that, dipshit. Oh. And he's really confident in that two he he's got on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he because he's jumping, camera, he's like the dude from uh, Goodfellas. They don't even stay out of the water. Because there's no question that's a wig he's wearing. 
But what is, what was he trying to do? I a think, flip? I think a flip. He was trying to do a flip. Yeah, but he can't clear this, it. This there. is obviously somewhere in Eastern Europe by the exactly. looks exactly. of it. You yes. say the weird yes. little that's pool my and tribe, shit. You know, bro. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I take credit. Oh, that's why you're one of the Adidas. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, 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 I got you. Okay. And then this is this is further east. This is in Russia right here. That was a bitch too. Is that a dude and a bitch or yes, just a bitch? Yeah, no, it's both. There's two. The motherfucker ain't moving. She at least is moving. Wait, They're alive. They people. both live. I didn't see two people. There's two people. Well, you know what would really suck if you were just showing snuff films right no, now? No, I know. Oh my god. I thought he was a tablecloth or something. Oh, right, if we get a good fucking Ned and shot right there. Yeah. Right there. Right up the shirt, right up yeah. the wazoo. Wait, but what was what happened? What preceded? We don't know. We don't know. We just were they know. trying to were they so trying they, to it just starts as they're Man. falling, right? Yeah, like, what, did someone walk, were they fucking, and the husband came back home? Oh, like, what? like they got caught. Okay, yeah. I, I, it looked like they were having a nice, like, little I mean, I afternoon thought, I thought snack on the balcony. It's wherever your imagination takes you. That's because yeah. I thought he was yeah. a tablecloth. Like, I think I'm trying to get out the window. Oh, she gave him a belly-to-back suplex off that bitch. Did you yeah. see that? She grabbed his head like the Brock Lesnar shit. That's a finisher. <laughs> God wow, damn. well, I guess that sometimes wrestling moves go wrong. And here's the... <laughs> people get hurt. Here's the best one, I think. This is my favorite right here. Race, my favorite recent one. Yo, just the oh, old jump off the. Oh. Dude, those ones fucking are. They're weird to watch, man. This motherfucker jumps off a roof in rain boots. I, there, he looked like a scarecrow. What do you like? His body. I've never seen a body get but, that stiff and then it bent. Why are you confident that that's gonna work out? Yeah. What was he? What was the end result? He thought was gonna happen. He then? just could land. Like chill? he had rain no. boots. He was yeah. good. Like they I mean, were magic. He, man, he's probably on some drugs, man. <laughs> Did you just hear the? <laughs> that his was his legs or his like, back? <laughs> They're laughing at him. Oh yeah, that one person saw if he was okay. Oh, yeah, those man. aren't your friends, homie. If you're gonna do it, do it no. in wooden Dutch oh. clogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Do it properly, oh, dumbass. What an idiot. He probably could have landed it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, he had, the, he had the wrong foot material. That was yeah, a problem. What a, what For a bomb. Sure. Jesus Christ. That footwear. I was fucking gnarly though. His le- his knees locked up. His knees went into his stomach. <laughs> Just the, the, the way he shot I forward. sent it. Once he hit, and went uh, in the, the, how, he, I sent this clip oh, to my surgeon so nice. who fixed my arm and my, my tendon. <laughs> yeah. And he just wrote, oh, Lord. And I go, so what's he going to need? He goes, all of it. Like, <laughs> wow. So ankles, you like, you, you like, yeah, you like yeah. hips communicate like on a normal basis yeah. with your doctor? Yeah, 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 he opens their emails. That's like yeah, such he opens a fucking foreign thing to like, I'd go there once. Bro, we text. They, I text him. Wow. So you're, yeah. is he kind of your friend now? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. He's super cool. The, the, a different orthopedic guy that fixed my knee a bunch of times and shit. And I think, I don't know, my back too. I'm not sure. But uh, he's kind of cool, but I never fucking <sighs> talked to him outside of the Dude. couple times well, in his I, office. I visit. text my surgeon too. They're, I mean, when you pay the money to fix you, they're, they're kind of. I guess you know what I, I want you to do? You that. I, I have a new. Way. I have a new desire. I just want you to forward me your MRI, yeah. and I'll take care of looking. At I used to have. A, <laughs> I used to have a super looking X-ray. It was like my neck, and it has like these like plates and screws in it. It was fucking great. I don't know what happened to it, but it was, it was pretty cool. Oh my god! Sell dude. posters and sign them. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Wait, didn't you say that? But they took the hardware out of my neck the last time they fucked with my neck and put new shit in there. Oh, okay. You, Oh, when you went back. Yeah. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by ButcherBox. Whenever you need a great tasting meat you can trust, ButcherBox is in your corner delivering humanely sourced meat of your choosing right to your doorstep. Options like 100% grass-fed and finished beef, free-range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, wild-caught lobster tails, wild-caught Alaskan salmon, and sugar and nitrate-free bacon. These guys want you to live it up. ButcherBox has your back. The process is quite simple. Once signed up, you choose your box and delivery frequency. They offer five boxes, four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box. So you get exactly what you and your family love. ButcherBox ships your order frozen at the peak freshness and packed in an eco-friendly, 100% recyclable box. You can enjoy great tasting, high quality meat delivered right to your door, free shipping. It's absolutely fantastic to get the best quality stuff and it arrives with the frequency with which you want it and eat it and you're going to sign up. Believe me, ButcherBox wants you to enjoy the rest of the summer with this special deal. ButcherBox is giving our listeners a special offer of three pounds of chicken breast, two pounds of burgers, and one pack of hot dogs for free. Right now, new members can get this special deal when they sign up at butcherbox.com slash mom. That's butcherbox.com slash mom for free chicken burgers and hot dogs in your first box since you're listening to this show i think it's safe to say you love listening to podcasts right well you'll find a ton of binge-worthy podcasts including ours on amazon music amazon music 
has more than 10 million free podcast episodes to listen to, but Amazon Music isn't just for listening to podcasts. They have thousands of music stations and top playlists to stream for free. And no matter what you're listening to, you can go hands-free with Alexa. Of course, we have Alexa. If you're like me and you want your music on demand and ad-free, you have to try Amazon Music Unlimited. That gives you unlimited access to over 75 million songs, as well as podcasts, music videos, and more. We love it. We have Amazon Music Unlimited in our house. We have Alexa. We tell her what to play, and our kids love telling Alexa what to do, too. If you've never tried Amazon Music Unlimited, now's a great time. For a limited time, new customers can try Amazon Music Unlimited free for 30 days. No credit card required. Just go to Amazon.com slash your mom. That's Amazon.com slash your mom to try Amazon Music Unlimited free for 30 days amazon.com slash your mom renews automatically cancel anytime terms apply when i asked you how you guys met oh Did we you never say really something to... about mcdonald's for me oh, yeah. all right so, so I, I started off way oh, early. i already know where you're going with yeah it. yeah i started off way early so there was there was one day uh man many years ago uh i, I was just at some drive through in detroit and I ordered a bunch of food. You know when you order so much, you got to pull forward. Yeah, so like you just got you got to wait up front. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it was one of those. Yeah, and uh, pull off to the side. Right, yeah. right. I see this fucking just this huge dude sitting outside, just jacked, right? Mm-hmm. And he's wearing like an ICP shirt. Mind you, I was a fan at the time. Everything in my body said, "Don't talk to this man." Like, this "Don't is, talk to this, this man." Is great, you know. So I fucking I, I, I'm in like Straight a killer. Sh- right. <laughs> Uh, so I, I roll down the window on my shitty Dodge Stratus and I'm like, Hey man, nice shirt. Doesn't say a word, gets up and walks towards my car. I'm, I'm holding the fucking window roll up button and it's just slowly going, you know, and he gets to the car and it's finally, I'm like, Hey, you know, it's like your shirt, man. You know, I don't want any problems. Yeah. I'm going to get my nuggets and get the fuck out of here. But, uh, but I couldn't resist saying that right. to you. He was yeah. like, he's like, you know who I am? I go, I ab- <laughs> I'm not looking at him. I'm like, absolutely, I do not. You know, I apologize. He's like, show he's enough. Like, he's like, I'm their head of security. Uh-uh. He was like, yeah. He's like, I- I'm their my boy, boy Spider. Spider. Yeah. <laughs> it was my man. Yeah. And we, when I tell you, like. I used to go work out with him and yeah. shit. Really? Uh, but he, he would lift fucking railroad. Dude. The metal railroad fucking rails. I'm not on That's what he worked this. out yeah, with. This guy he, was. I'd never like really been. A, he just throws that to yeah. me. I lift this. I'm like, yeah, I'm cool, man. So, so uh, at the time, I was trying to to get my foot in the door uh, with comedy. Uh, I was doing some stuff back home, um, and it was tough doing open mics. Like no one, no one uh, uh, would really open their door. Like open mic night, I was this 18 year old kid. Yeah, you know, I'm like, fuck, I can't get booked anywhere. You know, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start booking my own shows. So I had met Spider. We became good friends. He's like, look, I know people in the music business. I know venues. Uh, we reached out to some, and I was like, yo, fuck waiting for an open mic. I'm going to just set my own shit, and then I'm going to invite comics to come to my shit. So that's what I did. So I started doing this thing in Detroit with him called Laughs and Raps, and it was kind of like a talent show. I was like, I don't give a fuck if you want to do poetry. Get up on stage. It was just kind of like a big fuck you. I went there and these... did poetry one night. He no. sure did. No, that would have been great, say. though, right? No. Oh I wasn't too aware yeah. of that at the time. Or otherwise, no, I, I, first of all, I, I would have signed up anonymously. <laughs> what you yeah. did, it should be a lesson to all those all young yeah. comics yes. who go like, yes. yeah, I can't get booked anywhere. It's like, yeah. well, then make a Dude, show. Exactly, yeah. man. Yeah. It was, That's why I can relate, because yeah. when we started, we would, you yeah. just don't take no for an answer. You just yeah. keep pushing. No, but mm-hmm. it, it, yeah, so that, that was the motivation, the driving force behind it. And then um, lo and behold, obviously, that opened my doors into getting into the gathering and doing shows. Now, me, I've always had a soft spot for, like, improv. That's I love the most. It just don't fucking sell. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. one of my biggest, like, uh, uh, improv comedians, if you will, growing <laughs> up, especially back home, is Keegan-Michael Key. Yeah. Huge fan. Sure. Like the, I, He's just, brilliant. Oh, my God. That, that dude is just a fucking, like, be, you like, watch be, him, and I'm like, <laughs> dog. Like that he is, tells me this, I start like, yeah. I just think of like these corny B improv groups. Right, like, I know. Yeah. Motorcycle helmets like, on and yeah, yeah, goofy yeah. clothes in the their worst. little worst. Picture. So <laughs> I, I didn't, it's I'll be honest, worst. I didn't really want to do stand up. Mm-hmm. But I felt the only way that I could get seen and get known and get some kind of leg up in the game was if I did it. Yeah. And then when I get to that point, kind of brand myself how I wanted to do it. And I've never seen a stand up. I, I keep trying to get him to so, do it, but he's so like, I'm really. I haven't done it in years. <laughs> oh, you haven't? I, I toured. Like, there was an artist on, on, on his label that I toured with that took me on uh, a few tours around the country. Loved doing it. Just MC. It was weird. Like, MC in a Juggalo show. Like, never been done before. And I tell him, like, it's crazy to think I had no one 
to look up to. No one's done it before me. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is... There's some nights people are just drunk. Him, they don't give a fuck what you're saying. There's some nights it, I would kill. You know, sure. Um, That's the way it goes. Though, yeah. yeah. But but my whole my, man, it's like I love doing improv and I love doing like sketches and skits and, and these vlogs that we're doing. Um, yeah, you're I, performing right, exactly. Yeah. So I, I respect the hell out of stand up. I love it. But it, it was I kind of used it in a way to get where I'm at now. You See, know what that's I'm that's how he hooked me in because yeah. <laughs> this bastard. I got, yo, stand-up comedy to me, it's, yeah. I fucking, like George Carlin, hands down, favorite guy of all time, sure. no question, you know what I'm saying? I'll fight somebody for him, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he's great, man. But, but like, as a little kid, I just yeah. remember like the whole, Tippy, did you fart and all that yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? It just had me rolling. And, uh, and so like, I knew he was like a stand-up comic. I knew he like hosted shit for us, mm -hmm. but I thought he was a stand-up comic. I got like endless respect for stand-up comics mm -hmm. because th just the thought of, yo, what I do and what you guys do yeah. is like, Night and day, you know what I'm saying? I know we're all performers, you know what I'm saying? Right. But if I fuck up over music and shit, whatever, I, I'm a one component of like a, <laughs> right. so many different things going on on the stage, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. It's just you, you're done. no music, yeah. Yeah. microphone, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You fuck up, you're gonna get it, you you're know what I'm saying? You're gonna get it, yeah. But, but I got so, cause there's no way I could do that, you know, I've tried to host See, that's shit. the opposite. I'm just, not, yeah. I'm just not that big, I'm just, yeah. you know, hey, uh, yeah. shucky ducky quack quack, sure, right, sure. Right. Not, <laughs> but, yeah, but but so I thought he saw mad respect for him. Find out he doesn't do stand up at all. So you're like, I, I have do, any no, respect I did, for you. I did, I did. No, but uh, uh, it's funny he says that because I say the same thing. But I never I seen a stand up. I, I I don't know if I should because if I, I hate I, it, I'm gonna be like, come on, dog, you suck. I, I, I could, too I could, honest, I could, too I could, honest. At this point, at this point, you probably should not. Well, he he, he did this whole. Yeah. I'm not even gonna call, say what it's called because don't, I don't want to give an end. But he did this movie back in the day with like, yo, it's the worst thing. I'm dog. It's. It's beyond words how bad it is, but I always bring it up on our shit. Oh, you do? Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to get no yeah. trap because the other person I'm not. Oh, they'll know, find so, it. Don't worry. I know. Yeah. I know. But yeah, uh, they will. I know. It's, it's I know. Fucking, it's, but it's, this is how yeah. I can tell you guys are actually friends. Yeah. When you're with, when you're actually friends with somebody, you're like, yeah, man, your shit. Sucks. You want to know why though? You want to know why though? Yeah. Oh, we're because we're still yeah. friends because right. I've only known him for maybe like two and a half, two years, two and a half years. Okay. I'm not sick of his ass yet. Right. I'm saying, give me a couple more. Be like, yo, get this kid the fuck out of here. Fair. True. True. Yeah. Um, do you want to set up what uh, what you're known for? Like, do you want me to actually? Oh, so so you mentioned that you weren't familiar with TikTok. Yeah. Allow me to take you on a magical oh. journey. Oh, we're going down a rabbit hole. We're going oh, down the. Here we go. <coughs> now let's let's set up what she curations. actually does. Okay. So, all right. Listen. Oh, this is what you do for. Well, this is what I do your main for. Shit, well, this your is main my gig? my a vocation, my second job. Got right? you. This got is my you. Pri primary, and then my hobby is TikTok, and I curate uh -huh. the finest outliers like you know something like there's these dance videos there's hot girls doing yeah. shit that's not the tiktok i love right you're looking for the deep, fucking these dark. motherfuckers yeah. right? yeah. these motherfuckers like the motherfucker with the the i, I, I could be on your team i'm telling the you. guy that the tattooed his face yes yeah. Yeah. You, you, you want to hear we found him on tiktok who or she found him on the tiktok tattoo I found the tattoo, tattoo guy, the guy that oh that guy yeah. yeah i wasn't too that, familiar that was he put me up on a lot of shit i was so not fucking yes anything social media these weirdos are my jam like i love weirdos you want to hear some crazy yes nice little fucking fact about me when i was a kid I had like of course posters in my room when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I, I had I had Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. I had uh, oh. uh, Vanessa Williams. Mm -hmm. oh, I yeah. had uh, Christina Applegate. Yes. And uh, on, instead of their heads, I would find these freak magazines. Or, like they call them like the Naughty <laughs> wow. Man. He just bumps all over his face, and I cut the heads out and I put them on all the heads on my posters in my room. Yeah. So I just like we used to, I just me and my homie we used to just laugh our asses off. <laughs> yeah. Like, weird look at those old circus weird freak shit. magazines yeah. and shit. Yeah. Do weird so, shit. So yeah. So I'm I'm into that. I, I think, I think you're gonna like this segment. All right. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Really? Is that nasty he is? That's the worst. Uh, if there, uh, I Not hope the there's music. a hell just so he could be burning there. Really? Oh, wow. He's, uh, picture going to a show and this madman, this racist fucking madman, oh, racist. running around with glass trying to punch you and fucking and stab you. And then he shits you. in and his hand and then throws shit it in your yeah. cuts. Yo, uh, I've, I've seen a, a couple documentaries. on my, yeah. my old manager used to be like a fan of his. And that's how I found out about it. Like, I was young, too. I shouldn't have been exposed to that at such a young age. You know yeah, saying? yeah. Fuck that guy. He sucks. I right? hate G.G. Allen. Me, too. To, to, <laughs> to death. He, he's but like, I, I understand why some people can like yeah. it. That, that, I, to me, that's just, when you bring poop into the situation, yeah, sure. that's why I take a step out. You know what I'm saying? I, know. I can handle that like, doc, stabbings though, and stuff, but poop, no. Hated is, is amazing. Hated. The, doc, the uh, documentary. The Todd the Phillips one. Oh, that was G.G. Allen. Yes. Yeah. Is that like, did they cut that's the shit out of it? The poop out of it? No, then no. you can't have G.G. Allen without poop. 
Yeah. No, they go hand a, in hand. He shoves a banana up his ass. I've seen like, that, that one. Yeah. I've seen it. I've yeah. seen it. Yep. Seen that's it. I think right there where I was yeah. like, I don't like. You're like, I don't like this guy. But that's my jam. I, I'm sorry, I can't be <laughs> cool with somebody that that's that too far. Puts a peeled banana yeah. up their ass. I think that's sorry. a very reasonable take. From I know, you know, and it's it's nothing besides the fact but I just see, don't hang out with people. But see, like that's that. the stuff that lights me up inside. Like you, he likes the horrible. But but that shit lights me up. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to hang out with no, you on a personal basis. No, because he puts bananas in his ass. Of course, who wants to hang out with? Like watch that. it and I want to laugh. I want to ask. Yes. I want to ask you something. Sure, is go this ahead. in the same vein? One of the very first times I ever seen your mom's house podcast. Fuck, and I, I know your your fans are gonna ruin me in the comment section, but it's some dude that jacks off the to the four stroke gang. Oh yeah. Oh, is that, is, that, is that? that in the same vein? Of course. Okay, all right. It's the same vein. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Same, same. How you find some of these people? Oh, it, it, her it blows fucking, my mind. That's her gig, though. Some of it's yeah. mine, and a lot of it is uh, the mommy submit the, stuff. Yes. So yep. it's mommy submitted, mm-hmm. but the this TikTok is, uh, curations are my own. Before we wait, so, before we do that, sure. We forgot to. This is one of the hardest we laughed was when we first started learning about your guys' podcast. Was doing the YMH references. That shit was so funny. Inform Juggalo says, uh, "Hey, Tom Segura." Um, invite me on the podcast so I can try it out with you and Dr. Drew. Four strokes with my brother is my favorite. Great. More riddles. <laughs> <laughs> there was that. Wait, where's my favorite one? Oh, this is the best Shout one. Shout out to my main mommy Jean. Shout out to my main mommy Jean. Tell her congrats on her new job at Falcon Car Wash and keep them high and tight. What the fuck does that string of words mean? <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know. I know it's all like inside fucking <laughs> stupid jokes. It's all stupid jokes. But like it's almost show. like upsetting to you. Like what yeah, the what fuck is that? that? Well, no, to, because like people, they man, because I I read the shit like Ron yeah. Burgundy straight the fuck up. I don't. I, I just read what I see. Of course, and, but mindlessly I do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So there's people that fuck with me and do like those stupid Bart Simpson shits. Like yeah. Yeah. I eat my own dick or what? You know yeah. whatever the yeah. fuck. That, I don't. I can't even give you yeah. exactly. Jack Mayhoffer. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And, yeah. I, yeah. and I just read them normal, and I, and I don't get. It until yeah. after the joke's done, I'm yeah. just like, fuck again, huh? Yeah, I'm just the fucking butt of the joke again. Tom Segura podcast, <laughs> your mom's house. It's an inside so, joke. What am I doing here? Well, congratulate. <laughs> shout out, hey, shout out to your name, mommy Jean, and congratulations on your new job at the Falcon <laughs> Car Wash. Keep them high and tight. Hey. hey. That, that's go. that's where my professionalism that, came That in. was very professional. I, I thought I was kind of like reading some kind of uh, like some promo for oh, somebody man. or something right there. I kind of caught on. So. I just want to touch on it real quick. Our podcast, it was never planned. We never planned to have a podcast. Yeah. No, was, no. I, I got into this 100% yeah. to do vlogs. Like, yeah. I used to do that Shaggy Show shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know what a podcast Same. was. I didn't know what a fucking yep. Twitch is. None of that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, None of it. So, uh, there was one week we weren't going to have a, a video come out on time, and we were like, fuck, we got to have something come out. And we're like, let's just do a live stream, maybe kick it with everybody, you know, the, yeah. the subscribers, I, I, all that I, shit. I was just like, I don't understand. Yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? So we just sit there and we just talk? Yeah. We, I don't started, know, what, what we, we didn't even about? know what a super chat was. We were like, what the fuck's a super chat? Like, somebody's chatting, but this one's a super one, you know? So we started reading them. We're like, oh, fuck, that's like, you know, people are fucking paying money and they, they want to ask questions. So I'm live on air. I'm like, wait a second, man. Yeah. These motherfuckers are giving us money just yeah. to say some stupid line. Yeah. I was like, well, fuck, keep signing them. Keep set, yeah. I'll read your dumb so, ass shit. It, it it became it was just going to be a one time thing till our video came out next week and then we got hit up so much like please keep doing this keep doing this podcast keep going on so we didn't have a name for it for like the first twenty episodes we were just going live uh, then obviously now it's it's the palcast but uh, a shameless plug by the way yeah, yeah. I was like what should I wear course. today I was Definitely. like I'm gonna plug this shit out fuck of my yeah I left my shit in the car. No, oh, I get. I, I he didn't even bring one. He was like well I don't know you guys we you take pictures with that. ICP you're never wearing like ICP clothes. I'm like, yeah. well, I, I don't feel like I have to plug that no more. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah. That's kind I of know. Well known, I was you know? like, fuck, I don't know if you're supposed to do this. <laughs> no, but, uh, that's the, that's, but, that's so, the, so maybe that's the dangerous part of our. Uh, he is, uh, however, he he is trying to push over the Pistons on you guys. So. 100. Oh, it's know. draft day today. I've never heard of him. Yeah. Is it draft day? It is draft day. Today. Oh, great! I just yep. opened up a whole can. What's the uh, who's who's we're uh, number one? You're number one. We're number one this year. And who are you? We're gonna get Cade Cunningham. Wait, we as in the team? The Pistons. Well, I am the team too. I'm I'm wearing. This is what I love about sports. That's what I love about sports. Like, oh, we won. We won. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, lost. Yeah, they yeah, lost. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're not no, on a team with them all. I feel win. like I lost 100%. Well, you do because you just watched the fucking game for two hours and wasted your life. <laughs> just saying. You could have been doing so Unreal. much other dope shit. There you go. I'm watching a shit. stupid fuck. This but uh, yeah, th- th- that's the whole gimmick of <laughs> oh, yeah, our, yeah, our podcast is like, uh, uh, we do it live, which can be very dangerous. Yeah, of course. Very dangerous. I, I love doing so, it. That's my favorite. It man. changes yeah. the energy. Yep. For sure. Big time. Um, 
All right, so here we're going to go into your TikToks, talks. You ready? Here we go. It's a right, Just keep in mind, Christina pulled these. All right. All right. Look, I've had an accident. I was on a lot of drugs the okay. last okay. month. So these are very eclectic. Hello, everyone. I could change my voice either to a more female version or a more male version. But quote unquote, this is my real voice. This is what I always sound like when either I'm talking to my boyfriend or my family. What this about is my the regular cashier? Voice. The but if store. I wanted to be more flirty, I would use this one. How's voice. it going? Is that the same voice? Hi. Yeah. That's my more feminine voice right here. Is and she trying to get I like a, a, a voice actor job? Men mm-hmm. Because well, I don't want to deal with them. She's trying to show I you her instrument. Like this. You know, your voice is right. And I will come you, have, you ever like watch these videos, but you just you look at the background of the garbage in their house all over oh, the place? Yeah. All the I used to do that with America's Funniest Videos back in the day. Like, it'd be yeah. the funniest shit, but I'd be looking at the pile of garbage in the garbage. It's like, yeah, right. nobody's realized, you don't fucking mm. sweep your house or something, you know? Of course. And that's something I was very attracted to if I, like, Record myself, you know what I mean? If like I'm doing anything something? in my yeah. house, my wife is like, like, "No, you have, yeah. Yeah, you have you to know." Yeah, you have to know. Have to know. But this is like she's acting like it's her thing. Oh she's yeah, like, she's like, "I can." I, can, make my voice I thought she was gonna blow us away this, with this her, is, like how she can th- throw. That's her what voice. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for her to sound like a guy. It'd be like if I went, you know, I do this thing with my maybe in some circles she is like this, and then sometimes I don't. Yeah, yeah. But it's not that breakthrough of a thing. No. You know what she looks like? That that picture with the hat and everything? Eric Cartman from the, the <laughs> South Park. Don't she? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at that. She got the same hat. She does. Oh, there's no ball on it. That thing in the back looks <laughs> like a yeah. ball on top. Yeah. No, that's a Cartman. Like no other. Because no that's other. how I can do things. Oh, you're t- is, is that a voice she's doing now? Like, See, yeah. she thinks it's that's like That's like a the big Thurston deal. Howell the third type. Yeah, yeah her voice. It's not her voice deal. game is not impressive, no, but not. in her head it is. Right. Yes, which is right. why it's interesting. Which you is, love yes. that. You love that. Which makes yeah. a good talk. You're yeah, loved yeah. it's a good right. talk, right? It's absurd. <laughs> Check. What? Uh-oh. Oh, good morning, Christine P. Yes, you are my beautiful and special queen. Some woman out there is like, that's my teddy bear. You are the ultimate queen. You are my big titted animal queen. The mouth on this fucking guy. Come on, wake up. There you go. Oh, God. Open them eyes up. You oh, are very okay. Like it's now morning. at this point, it's just disturbing as shit. Weird, yeah, I was thinking bro. maybe he's a sweet older guy. You know, you, hey, know, you really, thought here sweet comes for Ronnie. one you moment. You thought sweet. <laughs> oh, then, what you know, model was that? You know what really? I'm, got. I'm, I'm putting myself in like some old lady's shoes who's been married to him for like 50 years. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay, that's that's Barry. You know, my son. You want to know something crazy? But no, he's he, as soon as he. I gotta tell you something. There, I gotta tell you something. She went on a date with him. What? You what? He court. He took me out on a date. We sat. You in the courted bar. him. He courted me, and um, oh, he courted. Okay, there's he, a difference. We had a, we had drinks and and uh, pizza together in the park, and he's he was very sweet. Did gentleman. he have a shirt on? He yes. Did. Okay. Was it was it was it a chaperone date? Yes, it was. Yes. Chaperone. Oh God! You were that, that, that way it wasn't a date. I didn't go. I, I, I was waiting for the spicy details. I trusted but, her. Okay, <laughs> with him. I was Fair waiting enough. for someone to spicy. You know where he's like, "Come on, open your eyes." Can I, you know what really got Wake me? Wake up! Hold on. I was like, if I were really there, I'd be pretending to stay asleep yeah. so that I have to open. <laughs> what, was he half as creepy in real life? Was you he like? What? I'll tell you on, something. Man. We need in, the real. Come on. I'll tell you something. In real life, the sweetest. I, I told you, didn't I? Yeah. I told you. Sweetest. I told you he was a sweet old man. I he's knew a it. Sweet yeah. old man. He's His face not. says it all, man. Look See at that? Him. That's why this is so interesting. This persona on TikTok, because yeah. that's not who he is. What? In real life, he's gentle. What really got what me made when it he creepy? Goes, yeah. He goes, "There you go. There you yeah. go. Ask it, me to open a, your eyes." It's, it's, it's like there to a point go. where he just sounds too nice. You know what I'm saying? Like it becomes yeah. creepy at that point. Like, yes. Oh yeah. Like he's starting to sweat or something. You know. Well, he's also he's doing improv, right? Because there's no one there. Yeah. He's improvising. There you go. So that's why he's like, "Oh, we all right, all right, we." gotta have keegan do one of those yeah man i, I could lay down and be the one he's talking to <laughs> <laughs> all right Ugh. you want a back rub no. oh boy. okay you gotta roll over oh no all right wait you're already on your back well, what's going on how's that that doesn't look like your back no that's his dick okay he's stroking his meat yep <laughs> very beautiful my queen oh boy mm. all right i'm gonna go down down i'm mm-hmm. gonna start breakfast oh. you come on down after breakfast you can take your nice hot shower what is this? and we'll go do something today okay, okay. 
We'll go shopping. I'm like, okay. We'll just go <laughs> for it. I got, I got, I got, I got one of my homies. Here, this is straight up one of my I'm homies, dog. Right now. One of my homies. This is uh, just to my boy Manny. Oh, just, oh come on, <laughs> he's bro. Just, he's just big, but he's so soft spoken and nice. But <laughs> if he, if a Manny ever woke me up like this, I'd have to murder him. Yeah. Straight up. Yo. I mean, kiss him, oh you my guys God. did. He just won't shut the fuck day, up. Bro. You went to the park. Okay, so I met him, and I forget in Tennessee. We met in Tennessee in a mm-hmm. park. He's a truck driver. Wait, so he, he courted travels. you, but you came to him clearly. Well, like we met in the park. Like Got he you. asked me out for a date. That's that was dangerous. The thing. Well, I had a, a I had a chaperone. Okay, okay, it was out in broad daylight. Got you. And he brought me a nice pizza, and we had like a you know what a kind nice of pizza? Picnic. Was it homemade? Just it's cheese. Five dollar hot and ready. It was hot and ready. I knew it. Yeah. Fucking guy. Yeah. He couldn't even like come fucking come a half hour and get a real za. Come on. No. Hot and ready. This fucking guy. But is he, he broke? He's sweet. No, I don't know. I, I don't know what his financial situation is. He works. He works all the time. He works a yeah. lot. So he could have sprung for like, I don't know, yeah. like fucking, yeah. I don't know what the fuck they well, have out here. Well, look at, I mean, look at you. I mean, what what if he's on the come up? You don't know. <laughs> yeah, true. he's definitely Remember? on the come down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, guy, that guy is not on the come up. I, yeah. I, I, sorry, I can't give that one to you. It's I can't see your angle day. there. Trying I'm going to take nice. off. <laughs> And I got to do a little bit of work, but I'll be back. Okay. Please don't and come back. And we will go do whatever you want to do. And I want to run away. I love you, my queen. Well, that's you not going to happen. Did you notice the chain on your foot? I see you in a little bit. <laughs> Block to the bed? No, you didn't notice All that, right. did you? See, a lot of us... Think, and you're just, he didn't say, but you're just waking up from a, from a lot of us formaldehyde had, fucking coma. Yes. A lot they put of on us, your face and knock you out from formaldehyde? Had, had the, had the had ether that. or whatever? Had the same vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like someone's being tied up. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, he, he, yeah. okay, he's not asking... Chloroform. He, he, Chloroform. Well, there you go. He's telling you what's yes, up. He's not yeah. really like suggesting this. He said, yo, this is what the fuck's going to happen, you bitch. That's yeah. what he's thinking. Yeah. It's so authentic. This is like the first three times he talks to you, this is him. Then he starts slipping in like he gets mean a little bit. Then he starts whooping your ass. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And then you gotta yeah. try to get free. Did you just? Ooh, that's interesting. Did you, you just like abusive? find this one in the feed? Or this was has it? been. This has been. Yeah, I sent this in a while back. Oh, okay. Three, three weeks ago. But I mean, you just found it like you're just going through the feed. Yeah, account? like I just I I scroll through people I follow, and then this one was to me. But I'm so used to it now. But it was sent to you. This wasn't just out no, there no, in the no, universe. No, no, no. This is out there in the universe. So he just put this out but there. He so makes, anybody named named Christy? No, no. It's it's me. It's you 100. Yeah. He okay. he just makes these for me every now and then. He'll dedicate one well, to me. Well, sweet. It is. How does that make you feel? In the creepiest way possible just kind of how you feel when someone I, it doesn't look like face. you approve too much on you it doesn't look like i like i it's like, like the juggalo tattoos like, i like enough i like their relationship <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, so you're not a cuckold no, no, not no. Jealous. Okay. No. i just learned what that was i can't yeah, get enough of that word me oh, too we can't get enough of like polyamory so call somebody a cuck oh, what about fuck, it's so funny yo, to me yo, yo have you heard of hot wifing no hot wife is that like hot carl it isn't that like a cuckolding thing different different i think Right. So you take the hot wife. Cuckolding's different because the man is shamed by the woman having sex with oh, so oh, because the the oh, man so a mental. I didn't. I just the cuckolding yeah, is that the man that. can't right. Like you you can't please. Oh, the so the woman's like I have to fuck these. So other he's guys. not as much as a sucker as everybody thinks. He's just mm-hmm. poor me. I got this is the only way. The, I can. the cuck. The cuck is is like well, he's the a biggest beta. buster on he's earth. A bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. The biggest buster on earth. But the hot wifing is that the guy is. Thrilled, right? Oh, I've yes. heard that before because yeah. I remember we were talking. Oh, who was talking about this? Was, was kind of like you? your trophy wife. You're showing her off. Yeah, and okay, got Cause, you. Yeah, because I remember because I, I, I heard that because I was like, well, you would definitely be a cuck and I'd be a hot wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you would be the hot wife being the dude, right? Right. You're called the hot wife. I don't even no. fucking know. So the woman no, is the hot, hot wife, wife, but the dude enjoys Who's the it. the cucky? Right, the cucky. I'm not sure. The cuckster and the cucky. Yeah, the cuckster. Well, the cuckster. <laughs> but the woman wears like pineapples or pineapple necklaces to to so that people know she's into black guys wait now this is uh, this is Whoa. like a, a thing, a thing in this world thing. wow that's intricate yeah yeah but people are just really way into fucking i think yeah. that's yeah. what that's what yeah. we're always like, it's amazed. Like, what if so much money I, I i mean of course fucking's great but i don't see the fucking that deep into it come yeah. on man like cuck holding and shit I come know. on man. who's got that kind of who, time? Who, who likes to watch that and jack off to cuck hold oh my shits? god we think about that all the time like how the, the even lower form of a cuck hold somebody jacks off the cuck hold exactly point. oh my god oh you're worse than a cuck but like would you would you die if your wife hooked up with another dude in front if of you if i was a cuck i wouldn't yeah but right, right. like i'm saying you're not it but wouldn't like, happen i couldn't wouldn't you just go crazy like I, well the guy wouldn't get into the house first of all if, yeah. knowing his intentions were to fuck my wife yeah. and if my wife had intentions on fucking somebody i'd be like just go ahead and cuck up because i'll be out <laughs> i'll be moving out to la or whatever you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah yeah peace peace <laughs> cucky yeah he ain't gonna be no cuck I, I, I ain't gonna be no game. Cuck. I'll be the hot wife though the cucky whatever the yeah. fuck it's called i think Bang. the hot i think he's mixed yeah, up you need the a hot cuck, wife thing. Give me a call. 
Yeah. yeah okay. Great. It's somebody, great. Somebody, somebody do you know what the dancing bears are? Uh-uh. You don't oh. know the dancing bears? What? Come there, on, guys. I used to be one. It's a it's a male stripping troupe that like for birthday parties for chicks, bachelor mm-hmm. parties. They come in and they they do the dance, but their dicks are on hard mm-hmm. and chicks suck their dick. They fuck them all. And they have big oh, bear heads on. I think they start out with that. Google They're called dancing a da- it's, it's real shit. Yeah. Dancing bears. You used yep. to do this? Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> yep. I sure did. When? Oh, you can't probably show that on, on here. Before you were a rapper? Yeah, when I was like like uh, 13. Put dancing bears no. like stripper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. see? Group Horn, taking horny women taking from, dick from yeah. a dancing bear. Yep. They just saw these. It's, it used to be an underground thing, but now, now it's like servicing. My boy put me up on this shit. Oh, like, he took his bear head off in, the, in uh, that one. So this is at a bachelorette party. Under- but it, yeah. she's su- specifically, specifically, what do you like to say that? Specifically. Specific. Uh, suspiciously. <laughs> looks like a, a porn model, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah, isn't yeah. the real. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say no, that this no, is maybe this set up. That, But this is, yeah. I heard about this way before any of this like fake type shit. No, that's dancingbear.com. This is the real one. Okay. Yeah. So, so he takes this off guy's the gonna, suit? So maybe they just took the best footage of the best looking broads. So wait, yeah. he's going to... Did you wear this costume? For what? The bear costume? I was the, like the head flagship guy, man. Mm-hmm. So, so, are, yeah, so it, it was more, 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 like, more like my dick hair looked like a bear. So wait, this dude's going to take his... Uh, I wasn't really a dancing bear. Oh, okay. He's going to take his costume <laughs> like, off? So I, I, don't, I don't understand how it took like, it that long. To I'm such an idiot. I don't know. You're wearing crazy... You're the guy wearing crazy makeup. Fair enough. You're the insane clown posse He sold it. He sold it. Yeah, they just get down these bitches, dog. Uh, it's pretty cool. But like this shot, oh, you, you can go PG thirteen with it, or they can pull his dick out and sure. he'll just go ahead and fuck you with it. You know what I'm saying? And he like, keeps his he keeps his his hair bare. I'm ge- I'm guessing. I don't know a fully. Well, yeah, but I'm guessing they they must like not fuck till they oh. bust. Yeah, yeah, well, we we fast yeah, forward see? quite a bit. Wait, there. that's clearly a porno guy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. There, the bear heads on. Okay, this is not the real shit. I like the Dog, way this lady is, watching is pretty cool. Huh? She looks like your mom. She's yeah. like, I want to see, but She's I don't. Like, she don't look like my mom. Mm. It starts off like a weird Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. You're like, who's this? And then the animatronic guy? guys come off the stage. <laughs> These people are pretty cool. Yeah. But hey, go ahead and bookmark this for us for later. <laughs> but not they. They, they yeah. do have it. Not the the porno style one. That's actually we a real it. thing that yeah. you could do. You guys should have them on your show. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Do a little fucking uh, dance for you. Yeah, sure. Get a real bear. Do a little twirl, you know? Little, little I feel twirl. like we should, have, we should have a meeting, like a great meeting of the minds mm-hmm. of your guys' oh. co- collection oh, of crazy God. shit and then our collection. We could have like a massive. <laughs> that, that, really, that, that really brings me to one thing real quick. I, I, yeah. I, I've been dying to ask you guys because I'm all about drama and beef and I love sinking yeah. my teeth into that. What's going on with Garth Brooks here? Oh. it's a good question. Um, uh, is, is, he doing you, is he doing you wrong? Is he, he's got you blocked or something from what I've seen? He restricted my uh, account from <laughs> okay. being able to post. Now, hold on. Do you, do you have beef with Garth Brooks or Chris Gaines? Good question. Wow. So maybe you try getting him at him at the Chris Gaines angle. That's true. Wow. Yeah, he's, it's a good, it's a good, it's yeah. a good thought. He's basically. That's Miley Cyrus's dad, right? Yeah. Wait. Garth Brooks? No, Billy no, Ray no, Cyrus. No, that's Billy oh, Ray Cyrus. Yeah, Billy I, I believe you're talking about. One of them scoop boogies or something. They're all the same. <laughs> Scoop boogie. Yeah. What is yeah. Oh, that's a, I just want to give a huge shout out to the mommies. They are relentless. Relentless. I thought maybe like I read an article and it was a little couple comments here. No. Thousands. No. It's his Thousands. page is taking over. Yeah. We, I mean, it's an Oh, they're getting at Garth Brooks like that. Oh, Garth we've like destroyed that, yeah. his oh, social no. media. Wait, 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 so you're going to have like Farrakhan meet up with you guys or something Dude. and mediate? Well, how's that going to work? <laughs> I just saying. That. I, I like would love if the only port. if the only person that could squash the beef is Farrakhan. That'd be amazing. <laughs> this episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Simply Safe. When Simply Safe Home Security's founders Chad and Eleanor Lawrence designed their first security system in their kitchen, they did it for a very personal reason. Their friends had just had their home broken into. They were struggling to find a security system that was simple to set up and would make them feel safe again. Now they have actually sent the system uh, here, and some of the guys have been using it and absolutely. Love it. Um, what Simply Safe does, it makes people feel safe, and they've been doing it since that moment 15 years ago. A passion to protect people not only drives every engineering detail in its products, but it motor- motivates every interaction with its customers at well. It takes about two minutes to get set up, so easy to customize on their site, simplysafe.com slash your mom. As our listener, you can save 20% on your Simply Safe security system and get your first month free when you sign up for the interactive monitoring service, just visit simplysafe.com slash your mom to customize your system and start protecting your home and family. That's simplysafe.com 
slash your mom. Uh, do you want this next one to play? I'd love to. Are you kidding me? Stop scrolling for a minute. Uh, Already, I'm like, oh my God. Me uh, take three Yo, what the fuck is wrong? Does, does she got a dick lump? Are you ready? Is that hair or is that a yes, dick lump? Hair. She got that much hair on her head. No, dude, there's no way. I'd have to see that to believe it. That's her hair, bro. I understand, but she's got a sock or something. There's no way it's that puffy. It's just a la- it's a meaty lady. Yeah. Look at her quad. Look at her legs. Man. She got the the fat man's pubis. She just got Even man's pubis, right? A lot of meat. Relaxation. What is it? What, what is I know I'm not supposed to look at the legs, but I can't help it. That's just... the only place my eyes will go. I know. How do you look go anywhere else? else? Looks like she has monkey legs. Dog, Dog, just I like thought, your legs. No, I thought mine were bad. <laughs> you have, That's nothing. She's got more hair than you. That's what yeah. I always yeah. get teased for my hairy legs. It's because it doesn't stop. It it's goes. definitely well. Yours, listen, but. as a woman, I'm I am all against this trend of mm-hmm. not. That's a, that's a, this is it. Looks the, like shit. Not only does yeah. it look like shit, but it just seems like it stink. Dirty. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Dirty yeah. and gross. It's like, like fucking ill. Like she may be super yeah. clean. We're not cavemen, you know. But she looks like her pussy stinks. It doesn't just stink. It just smells like some off-brand funk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like some, like some fucking sour sandalwood or something. Yeah. Like bug spray or something. Yeah, something. And like, again, yeah. like she could be very hygienic. We don't I don't give know. a fuck. Not with that net. Yeah. But the aesthetic of it, of like hairy shit. Yeah, I just like to say wild. that it's not for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah. yeah. But it's she got hair. She probably got her armpits too, I'm guessing, right? Uh, I'm well, sure. Why would she not? Let's see. Let's see her sit she, down she again. She usually shaves her armpits. Start from the hard. top. Maybe we can see Stop these. Stop scrolling yeah. for a minute. Was her bush? <gasps> no, I didn't They're shaved. See any. Yeah, I didn't see any. Oh. That, now that's just plain weird. Why would she yeah. shave her armpits and not a leg? Yeah. She's going for some. Breathe in. So she could, she could, she could wear. A, what the fuck hey, is this? Everybody on TikTok, this is some of my <laughs> rare conditioning exercises. I see you I also accept drug speech. addicts <laughs> in your One, feed. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay. Look, two, you guys want to be martial artists or not? Pay attention. <laughs> and you have to be in a heavy squat position. I bet you this guy will so kick your ass. Do I don't know. Do 50 of these? Where's that? Trophies. 50. That's all he does. Have you, have you tried this workout yet? It's, it's all masking. Fuck. No, I bet you you can't fuck. do it. 50 of those? What? Thing is, he didn't do 50 yeah, neither. He did like 10 of them and he <laughs> yeah. stopped. Do 50 of these and he didn't do 50. He didn't do close to 50. No, he didn't. What did he do? Like 13? I do like his sweat You have a good bicep. You have a good tricep. But you got to work your violin strings. In his defense, what is he, like 94? Oh, yeah. He's definitely up there. He's old as shit, dog. He's like, maybe he was like... Fucking, he was down with Bruce Lee. <laughs> Do this every day. Childhood friends. Here's, here's his forearm exercise. Watch it, though. Here we go. Look how big his hands are. Open and close. Open Jazz hands? As fast as you open can. and close. Open as and fast close. As you can. Do as fast as, as you can. I'm going. For how many? Now, after you do that, it's going to be pretty hard. Then you shake out the carpet. That doesn't feel like that's shit. That's like Karate Kid shit. Yeah, that's, that's Karate nothing. Kid shit. That's this that's phony. That's phony. That's that's phony. That's phony. Yep. Could you picture Cray? Bruce? Okay, clearly his hero is Bruce Lee. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and just call that yeah. one right now. Yeah. It's it's not too obvious, but I think it might be. Um, you can usually tell if they. Do he's so horrible at do being Bruce. Do you Terrible. think Bruce Lee's yeah. going like this? Fuck no. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what the fuck Never. is that? No. This dude was doing blah blah blah. That's how you catch bullets out the air. Yeah. Wow, they just don't stop. You know, I stole these coins from a pirate, and he stole them from someone else. Look at her titties. I I know, they're so jugged. They're probably so ugly naked. Oh, yeah. Would you like one of the coins? Yeah, well, she could be like a scary movie left sea left head. Well, and also when you're is this supposed to be trick or treating? Right, no, she's just pretending to be a fairy. fairy. Oh, she, this fair. is like cosplay. And here's the thing when your tits are state droopers, as we call them, state like droopers? State, oh, state droopers. State troopers. Yeah. I got you. Like, Yo. You don't want to accent it with a corset that goes yeah. under. You know, you know what I get respect for? I got respect yeah. for those broads who like TDs are mad low and they pull their sweatpants over them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got respect oh, for that because you, you can't even yep. tell unless, you know what I'm saying, yep. <laughs> at yeah. certain angles. Yeah. yeah. Talk them in. No, she's just crazy. She's doing yeah. fairy cosplay or some shit. That's probably that, that crazy dude's wife. That's one of those ocelots. What the fuck is that? Why would you have one of those in your house? What's the biting? So, is, this, is this like is in Dubai turkey? or something? Is that a turkey? This has got to be Dubai. This is somebody's pet on Holy TikTok. shit. And that, it's the fifth birthday, and that's... The they got pillows made up like them. Yes. Yeah. Look at the floor. Okay, yo, okay, now... now it's wild. With a dog, okay, you can have a vicious-ass yeah. dog. Yeah. yeah. I feel safe as fuck around if he's mine. <laughs> you know what I'm You know yeah. he's not going to bite you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a wild animal. I don't think it'd be animal. like that with a fucking cat. No it's way. It's a wild fucking yo, animal. Yo, if my cat starts making that noise, I'm getting... Fuck he's you. fucking out. Oh, you know yeah. Yeah. Fu- and, oh I'd kick it right A cat that big, bigger than a dog? If a cat can kick my dog's ass, and that cat's not allowed to kill at home at word up yeah, yeah. I, I just up. i just got these two outside cats recently like mm-hmm. some some uh my wife's like 
relations. Somebody died of COVID or whatever, and they had like some outside cats. I was like, as long as they stay outside. Yo, these are bad motherfuckers. Yeah. I'm not a cat guy. Yeah. These motherfuckers. I got an inside cat, the biggest pussy on earth. Yo, yeah. this cat is like, I, there's not even a level, there's not even a word to cover that level of being a pussy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. He just marinates so, and he's so weak when you touch him, he's all soft and yeah. feeble. Then I go outside and fucking Mig comes around, Miggy comes around with a fucking bloody bird hanging out of his face. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I pet him and he just fucking clutches his back up mm -hmm. and his tail like wraps oh, yeah. around your arm. I'm just like, if I let this cat in my house, he's going to fucking That's murder sad. my other cat. He's going to kill your kids. Listen to exactly. just the sound. But if Miggy made that sound, he'd be out. That's it, your pet. That's sleep. It, that's sleep apnea. Play it, play it from the top. So they could use that in a scary movie look, for like a zombie. Look, this is the birthday, the fifth birthday, and they're giving it. Oh, why not get him a raw chicken? Why not? He's making that noise because he's gonna fuck you up if you touch it. Yo. That's why. As vicious as my dog may be, I can still grab his food. You yes. ain't grabbing that motherfucker's no. food. No, try it. He's waiting. He try wants it. you to. Yeah, try he it. He wants you to touch it. He's no, like, try yeah. it, motherfucker. Oh, I'm yeah. sitting here for extra long. Just yeah. so you'll come and touch it. Yeah. Give him a reason. That cat thinks it's killing something. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. He just won that. Right. That's, yeah. that's instinct. He's yes. like, somebody fucks yes. with this. I'll fight yeah. to the death yep. over this piece of chicken. I'll bite your hand right off. Mom. Is that Robin Williams? Mom. What? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm talking to your dad. Hi, Dad. Hi. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Now, Carrie, <laughs> it is none of your business. <laughs> Well, you're my parents. So get on out of here and go to the pool or something. Get out of there. And Was she like give him a handy jam on the I table or something? People. I can't sit in here with y'all. I think she's just being annoyed. Because he's We're stuck with no words and she's mad for no reason. Just get out of here. Yeah. I just be like, I'm touching his dick. Your daughter. And it's on Father's Day? It's on Father's you Day. You know what I like about this video is for you, She's Tom, trying to get it out of her, right? Yeah. It's because it's it's somebody annoying their mom. Like, yeah. clearly she's been in there 500 yeah. times before. Right. Yeah. And is like, hey, mom, can I talk to you? And she's like, Kara, get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. She's just losing it. Yeah, right. just so Which great. Every five minutes. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, swimming then. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Well, he just looks like one of those dads that takes a lot of shit. Takes yeah. a lot. Yes. Yes. Or what are these guys? Gun phase. What are these guys? Yep. Yes, dear. Yeah. 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 He's a cuck. He's a cuck. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a cuck. Yeah, he's, he's broken beat. down. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, he's oh, a yeah. broken down cuck. Oh. Yeah, he's been beaten and broken in. <laughs> Do I still guys, look I good for 57? No. No. The, sh the answer is no. Right. <sighs> Not the, I've seen a well, lot worse 57 year olds. Yeah. I have, but here's Not bad. I mean. To wear something like that, maybe but, not. But why didn't you just wear like a dress or something? Yeah. That's like, that's I mean, like Hogan now at a meet and dress, dress, dress appropriately just... for a 57 year old. Exactly. Well, and also, exactly. too, isn't it kind of, you're kind of like baiting it, people to be like, hey, don't I look good? Well, yeah, again, because right. like, to me, if you you're 57 asshole. and you're wearing a bikini, you're obviously trying to show mm. your slamming body because yeah. not many bras have good bodies. No. Of course. Dudes neither. Yeah. I lost my fucking, who knows? Yeah. But yeah, nobody does, right? Unless you're fucking rich. Yeah, you're crazy. Yeah. But yeah, so so whatever. Yeah, she's, she's that's that's no fuck off. It's it's like yeah, it's setting Just you go up. For, yeah, fuck her. Now I'm thinking of like that. She can go fuck yeah, herself. Yeah, like don't make me answer that <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Hello right. everybody. My what? name is Philip. I'm 24. I'm from the United Kingdom. I'm single. I'm looking for a beautiful new girlfriend who wants to spend time with me. Direct message me on the TikTok messages. It will be nice to hear from you. This guy. It sounds things. like somebody making fun out of a British person. Yeah, yeah like it somebody's does. Somebody holding a gun to his head on the other it's side. It's also somebody that's forced. that is uh, not understanding that. TikTok is not a dating fucking app. You yeah. Know? Oh yeah. I didn't even put that together because I didn't know that either. Well, yeah, Shaggy, this guy's like, what, well, message let's, me. Oh. Let's help him. I'm so, 24. So yeah. Shaggy, we're gonna get him a bitch. You're good with the bitches. Not really. What, what could? Well, you know, you've, what you're married do? now. Yeah. Let's let's get try on to Tinder help. probably. Yeah. Get isn't that, like, uh, isn't that yeah. a fuck yeah. site? How about don't stand like a soldier. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Well, he's probably uh, <laughs> but looking at. It, he's probably not that good with the ladies. So he's probably super nervous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I would say I would say maybe like like get a couple drinks or yeah, relax. Exactly. exactly, and then yeah, and then uh, and then maybe some plastic surgery wouldn't hurt, and uh, and some, Get some plastic a muscle surgery. suit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's well, a few things you could do. Also, I agree. Maybe loosen your stance. He's standing yeah, like that's oh my, my whole God. point. Like Hitler Come youth. On. Like yeah. maybe mm -hmm. relax a little. Relax a lot. I, I, I feel. I feel like it's not real. I feel like it's somebody trying to be silly doing oh, this. Oh no, sweetie. This no, is. This I, is. Trust okay, me. I know. And yeah. I, I know. You a lot. Do, you're the professional. You're the pro. But now, to his benefit. 
excellent lighting yeah. and great background. We yeah. don't often you know, see a good true. background. And you know, that's, that's the, I can tell you're special yeah. because it takes a special person to appreciate a special background. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you fucking nailed it with I that I see word. a lot of bad videos like this and he did it okay. Like, I know nice. he did it, but it looks like he didn't want to do it. Well, he was probably like, if I'm, he's probably right. like, look, yeah. if I'm going to do this dating app TikTok of yours, yeah. I'm going to have to be in dating a nice app. looking place. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I need flowers, guys. So they 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 delivered for him. Yeah, he's trying. Did you know that using the back door of your wife is considered sodomy? Yeah. Use the proper entrance that God prepared for your member and rejoice instead of coveting a place that was never meant for it. Yeah, I'm not a butthole guy myself. Me neither. I hate the butthole. Well, you're butt not a guy hole. in general. No, no, but yeah. I mean like, I don't yeah, like you don't like butts. in the butt. Yeah, I don't yeah. like I'm not, butt I'm not, stuff. I don't like my butt being, I, I, we, I've yeah, done like we've two about hours straight okay. about it. I don't like my asshole fiddled with, touched. Looked at sideways, nothing. Thank you. I'm not a butthole. Thank guy. you. And yeah. I don't know what this big fat is right now, eating ass and all that. But yo, if I, you could, okay, you're here I don't, on I don't a good know, day. I don't know how much money it would take me to eat somebody's ass. Thank you. That's their fucking anus. Thank you. It's medically fucking disgusting. Thank you. I mean, not like a nutsack or a fucking. Now listen. Is medically. Uh, this this guy awesome. this guy's been rallying the mommies, rallying everybody for me to lick oh. his scrum. And well, I, don't I mean, that's his base. To, to, to like his my husband oh, to wants his, me to, to lick, lick his scrum yeah. his yeah. scrum okay. hole okay yeah. scrum okay and the region around it and i'm like no dude i'm a lady it's not hygienic well i mean it, it, let me let me just tell you this i'm going to recap on this right fast this is a, this is a theory mm -hmm. i came up with and i think it's very true okay so i don't know if i'm wrong just just cut me off and tell okay. me to shut up but you could take any human's asshole okay any human on earth i don't give a fuck what they eat what culture they're from whatever you take a human and their asshole, and you put it in a shower, okay? You let hot water drip down it, you fucking soap up that asshole. You can put the piece of soap inside that asshole, twist it, twist it, pull it out, whatever you gotta do. You could douche it out with fucking flower juice, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Rinse him off, all that, get him on the bed, fucking kick his legs back, I guarantee you're gonna smell shit. Thank you. <laughs> that open yeah. butthole. Thank you. It, you don't think so? Okay, you're, you're great. I mean, here's the thing, man. You I, cannot I wash an ass. That's the funk of the, the your inside of your I body agree. coming out your bottle. That's I've, not eat, just shit. I've eaten a few asses. Mm -hmm. and okay, you're yep. an ass eater. Yep. Yeah, I mean. I may have, like, I, not I knowing. Have, I have. So you specifically ate an ass. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you were times. like, I'm going to eat this ass. I've even tried, you know, someone's okay. over she here. She was like, fuck no. Okay, well, good no, for you. She weren't like, fuck no. I was oh. drunk. I let it happen <laughs> a few times. I've let it happen. Okay. And all I'm saying is, like, you know. Fucking, I cooked you a dish. Why don't you make me something to eat? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's a, it's a gentleman's handshake. All yeah, right. Well, I guess. I guess. What but did you ask for the the Remy, yeah. the Remy Martin? No. 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 I she let didn't him. Ask for it. I just okay, so, so, accepted it. Right. I just I just did, it. Didn't say okay. no. Didn't say no. But I let it happen. He's my husband. Well, of course. But, but that like, doesn't mean you, you have to reciprocate. No, I agree. I, but you know but, 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 but do you love him? But being a good wife, and you really know he wants his anus licked. Maybe you should yeah. just tongue it out a couple times. Well, what am I gonna do about the the smells part that you just said? Clothespin. Yeah. I mean, yo, I look at I look at it this way. If if, if it, like my wife was in the hospital, and I had to wipe her ass and all that shit. Yeah. With my tongue, I'd do it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's your husband's asshole. Does it really matter if it stinks? Exactly. It's not like it's some dude yeah. you met at the bar. I can't believe it. Probably is kind of like that, but Damn. you flipped the script. <laughs> so yeah. flipped on me. You heard that? I heard it. Yeah. I felt it, and and now I feel. It's three to one. How did this happen? Because I, I, I went into it. I went into it, you know, not you like my asshole mind. touch. You change your but, mind. But, you know, and oh, because no. you're married, that changes the whole fucking dynamic of it. Lady, it. Lady you can should, you your should mind. be as comfortable around each yeah. other than anybody yeah. else in the world. That's true. Yep. With, I see, with, I see with anuses, here. I see and here. anuses and tongues and all. Meet them halfway. Start at the chad or the taint, whatever you want to call it. That'd be cool. Start can there. Can you do that? Yeah, you can just lift the nuts up. Yeah. You can't do the taint. Yeah, wait, wait, there you go. Come Hold on. on. How about this? How about this? How about. I could do a hot taint, yeah. Okay, are you asking her to eat your ass from the back or the front? Like you're just getting like the, the, your dick sucking, and you just lean yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, so that's a lot. That, that's, that, to me, that's acceptable. Yeah. If you were just bent over, you know what I'm saying? She was eating your ass. No, I just like wanted that. to change my die-dye. Yeah. That be would be horrible. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That's not acceptable. There's got to be a little leeway here. Yeah. In, yeah. in any relationship. But the taint's cool. Just change the die-dye. Yeah. Just, just lick the taint. Okay. Well, okay. Start there. If you like it and you're feeling frisky, head south. This guy should go. be a marriage. Like, if you're not, head back up north. You Guys, we're both still injured. You know, there's plenty of time to heal. We need time to heal. You definitely got to, your arm needs to be healed before. Wait, no, wait, no, no, no. That is for I sure. don't know if this this may be a factor of it, but like I'm guessing you're on some kind of opiate pain pill. Uh, I have one left, which means you probably are not shitting properly right now, constipated and whatnot. Well, unless you're on a stool softener. I actually I only have been Thank eating you. one a day. 
So I haven't had okay, to take so it's, school, Okay, so. well, then maybe you passed your fucking like, yeah. green light to do it because, like, you know, yeah. when you're taking like any kind of shit like that, you yeah, can't. It, oh, it bottles you. It's, 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 it's up. It's so maybe there's no shit next to the yeah. entrance portal. You know what I'm saying? I will do. Saying. Here's what I'll do. But I'll do an enema. I'll, I'll clean everything out. Wow, hey, you no, would do that? To me, that's yeah. a fucking gentleman right there. Thank you. I, I've never. I've look. I've never done the animal. I, I don't think I could do it. Guys, I don't think I could. My husband has runny, violent dumps a lot. Like it's not. Yeah, but an enema would like at least clean so? the like. It clean as deep out as your tongue would go. I think. But you're not asking her to tongue fuck you. No. Just for yeah. a little little tickle. <laughs> yeah. Just flirt with it. I can't believe this. Yeah. I, I thought you were on my side. I, I am. thought we were allies. Uh, I, I was. Then, I was until I realized you guys were married. Yeah. Now, if it was just some strange at a bar, you know. But but then again, it goes. Strange. It goes the other way. Yeah. You know, say if you're some dude, even a chick's netting. Yeah. If you just meet a bitch and you fucking eat her netting, you're a special kind of dude because eat her netting. Netting. That's netting. that's code word for pussy. Yeah, oh. netting. Yeah, I, that, I've been saying this as a kid. So, so you don't you don't do that out of the gate. I, I'm a bitch you don't know? Yeah. yeah no. Oh, I God, I no. No, no, no. You don't know. You've yeah, been dancing all night, sitting on your Sweaty. ass in a bar stool, yeah. fucking, yeah. Who, probably farting all night in your mm -hmm. pants. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking Absolutely. lighting that hole for the jeans up, man. So you yeah. just like. Bitches are no better than dudes when yeah. they're out there farting and Nasty. taking shits all night. Yeah. Thank I've seen you. them bitches' bathrooms and fucking overflowing shit chick, toilets. Chick bathrooms are way worse But yet, a dude just go right home with her and just wipe their legs up and eat their ass. is. It's bad. I don't know what girls do when they. I mean, I've, I've seen I've seen bitches bathrooms with like plants and couches, and I've seen them look like a fucking oh, heroin den. You know what I'm saying? I saw both the guy doing you the kung are, fu. Uh, you have a very good heart, and oh. you are interested in other human beings. You make people feel oh. at ease, Thanks. and you're very intelligent, oh, and you man. have a very good heart. Okay, he's reading. It sounds like you put him on the spot. Like, what, what's my best you qualities? You see his head <laughs> turning with the Tell words. me what my best qualities are. Guys, that's David Lynch. Who? David Lynch, the director guy? Yeah, yeah. don't you want to get nice positive affirmations from that's the a director? Nice positive. I, yeah. I, I, didn't think, I thought David Lynch was a different guy. But, oh, no, he him. was being I mean, paid what, to read. What, what did he direct? I, I know he's a director. Well, he did uh, Twin Peaks, Blue and, Velvet, uh, Mulholland okay. Drive. Oh, it's a bunch of fucking boring ass okay. lame movies. Okay, all right. All right, let's just call, let's just call it a <laughs> And that's come. always the message. Do you like, do you like any of those movies? I, I loved Mulholland Drive. I like Twin What is that even? That's a good one, man. I don't even know. heard of it. What is weird as fuck? With Me, that was a good one. Wow, I've never heard of it. It's weird as shit. This is when I was in high school and you do, you know, Drugs and you watch these movies. I, I, I mean, I was probably in high school around the same time. Yeah, I'm 45. Damn it. I'm 46. I, yeah. I see what's in go. the fucking what? chamber, right? What you got? David Lynch. Oh. Oh, oh him got again. A question for you. Ooh, he came back with a question. What if I broke into your house? Now he's got the. Ooh. Woke you up with a big kiss. Gave you a nice hot shower and made breakfast like pissed on for you. you? And pampered you all day. Well, first of all, he broke into your house. So you got that to begin with. He, yeah. he asked for he, the B&E e first. He, he, so threw, he threw everything nice yeah. out what the window. What if I did that? It, right, I'm not saying I'm gonna, but what if I what did? What if I did? How bro. would you react? Just wondering. Gave you a foot rub and gave you a butt rub and put lotion all Is this over since the date or after the date? Is this... Is this this is way after we we wow. met months ago, so this is like he's he's ramped up. This what? Is so this, this is new. Like yeah, like I want to share this with you guys because he's horned up. He's what horned up. Something, happened to him? Something happened. You like, did something magical to him. He got the vaccination, man. He got yeah, vaxxed. He's out been. there. Body, what would you do? He's all horny now. He's what so will fired you up. do? Wow. That was like well, a would, real. What will right. I do? That was threatening. I would yeah. immediately call the police. Is what I would do <laughs> and run the fuck yeah. out the door. Hell yeah! I'd, if I had a gun in my nightstand, Although, I would definitely bro. shoot him. I'm gonna play, no question. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. If someone is to break in your house and they want to rub your your ass and your feet, that's pretty. That's pretty nice. Better than the other option. He definitely yeah. does not want to rape you though. He, he said murdered. He said, "What will you do?" As if like this is gonna happen. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, hey, just know though, he's not gonna rape and murder you. <laughs> yeah. He's just gonna rub your feet and yeah. ass. That's it. Yeah. And nothing, 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 nothing weird. You don't gotta lick his butthole. You no. don't gotta do none of that. Cook no. breakfast. Are you offering? Like, are we? Are yeah. He'll cook you breakfast even. Yeah. Right. He says run yeah. the shower. I know, but yeah, he's trying to do like the fantasy. I know, but like, can't Ryan Gosling do that? Well, no, because I mean, just let's just face reality. Right now. I'm in the same boat as you. This is <laughs> who you get doing yeah, that. Yeah. You should see the bitches that do that shit to me. It's fucking, it's fucking uncanny, <laughs> for, the, for lack of a better word. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, like I'm not getting offers from like Brad Pitt. Yeah. No. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's, that's the, just not how, that's that's just the, not game. How the game works. Because, because, because they're sane. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. 
They actually, they actually know how to. Coconut macaroons are oh. a high protein, Why high is fat chest treat. Why is it chest wet? Why is it full of coconut and a face with too. some egg whites too. Really easy. It's a bag. She looks like she has half. six other legs chilling. Is that shirt blown? It looks like she's got a fucking uh, like a butt pussy between her tits. Yeah. I, I think she put her she, she put her that? she put her shirt on this morning. So, she put her shirt on from the neck up. It's so crazy. So she does these recipes on her TikTok uh-huh. and then so her draw obviously she's supposed to be sexy well no it's so not uh, sexy no she's trying to show you how to make coconut macarons uh-huh. and then she gets upset when people in the comments are like nice tits. tits let me see these tits and she's like Sh- guys I'm, just I'm trying cooking. to do macarons like she gets upset. that's my favorite type of lane holy chick. shit yeah. she looks like Wendy yeah. Williams in the face don't oh she my yeah. yeah yeah maybe that's her alter ego she's doing yeah. titty fucking cooking coconut. she's pretty though I mean I she's gorgeous. no she isn't no she isn't very heavy pour of vanilla Eat meat. And She'd be, be good happy. looking. She was like seventy. Macaroons for a high protein, high fat snack. She's got like the skin of a salamander. She looks like she looks like her skin would just like peel it's apart, just, and some demon would come out of you her. Know, like like a rotisserie chicken from Boston yeah. Market. It's just kind of like that. It does. Her chest. Is, she has chicken skin. Guys. It looks like she wants to cry, but she can't. Like it's just like <laughs> her face is stuck yeah, like that. No just, question. You guys have a very strong reaction to her. This is interesting. Yeah. I like it. You're very. We're heating up. Do you guys live out in active. LA? I don't see bitches like this every day. Oh yeah, this is this is every Tuesday. This right. is this is down the street. <laughs> bitches like this all. She the got time. some long titties too. They're long long titties. titties. Yeah. yeah. How come nobody's mentioning long. that that they're long? There's nice titties. What about but long there's titties? This, there's this. <laughs> is late, that not a compliment? Hey, long nice titties. Nice long titties. Not even nice. Just hey, there's, long titties. The type of chick that posts like, unless let's say even her, but like even chicks that are like, do you do you find hot that are like in you know have the belly out and mm-hmm. titties you can see and then they post pictures people are like yo check out your body and they're like it's not all about my body and you're like yeah you're wearing fucking you but know you're your yoga making gear. it about you're your you're making body. it about yeah. your body. i mean does this even have to be a discussion no more we all know it's a cry for attention it's, you know, it like, is i just think it, but it, then don't deny it like the, on the other hand well, then go, but, well you don't want to be a slut or a whore yeah. you know no but she could be like hey dude i'm really i, I love I, my tits I don't just, you love yeah i just own it you know what i'm saying look at my look at my long titties there we go you know yeah are those, little, are those are those fake? Did she got, did, um, yes. Why would you get long titties? Okay, let me tell you something for I, like fake titties. Like, let me just make mine long. I, I agree, but I'm gonna go with their oblong. Fucking... They were done earlier because I like, yes. can see the way that they hang. You can uh-huh. see so it's pulling it. on the skin. Yeah. See, I don't know about fake titties and all that. Yeah. they might be 20 year old fake titties. That's right. Though. That that's long ago. Yeah, so, it could be. Yeah, she so probably got that. when they first came out. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of yes. like that dog. They're probably like made out of asbestos. Yeah. Yeah. She's got that gap going. Oh god, yeah. The gap. That's how you know they're fake. That's what I was. I don't know how to explain it. It's a butt and a pussy. But it's in between both tits. If you're titty fucking that, that's a budusi. You're getting everything. Everything. You're kidding. Well, because big naturals, they normally well, you get could titty fuck together. her and not even touch her titties. That's what I'm saying. You just be chest fucking. You're gonna fuck another pussy. Oh, you just be God. fucking some chicken skin. Um, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Shaggy and the creep, this the the palcast. How often does the palcast come out? Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Live. Live, baby. And you're doing these vlogs all the time. Yeah, we come mm-hmm. on a vlog like once every week, week and a half. That's yeah. called the Shaggy and the Creep Show. The, okay. uh, the podcast called mm-hmm. Palcast. This was actually. I don't know how I sunk down in your car. Like, it's all good. It's I slowly. Yeah. Like, I, I, That's I, what I'm saying. I got to keep propping myself bro, up. I didn't know if it was. I feel like a little kid with his feet dangling and shit. <laughs> this was t- even more fun than I imagined. Oh, yeah. oh cool, man. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how the shit works, so I don't even You're know if it's proper. You're fantastic. Man. I just know on ours, so I, we just, I just read shit and we talk shit. Yeah, yeah that's what we, we should did do. Today. Okay, yeah. next time we should we should meet again mm-hmm. and we'll show you some shit and will you bring some shit that you're like super proud of? Let's do a meeting of the minds. Okay. And we'll cross pollinate. Yeah, you might hate me. No. Yeah. We'll love it. No, we'll we'll bring it. We will bring yeah, it. Sure. Impossible. Because yeah. I feel like you guys are sitting on some cool mm-hmm. shit. You we got to get you guys gems. on the podcast sometime. For when sure. you're in town, when you're in Detroit. Yeah, it's it's awesome, too, because you're just yes. like come either down to my basement or upstairs in some shitty little room. I love yeah, it. Let's do it. <laughs> Those yeah. are the best podcasts, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah uh, it's, it's raw shit. This was, the, this was so fun. Um, our closing song is Fart Mike Assassins by... Uh, brothers produced by Hendog. That's probably so, your shit right there. There you yeah. go. go dude. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Thank you, thank you guys. man. Thank you for having us. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to all shit. the mommies. Fuck yes. Yeah, Absolutely. Dope. Yes. Hey. 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 Hey.
start my day with the big ass fucking breakfast Feeling great, diamonds on the crevice of my necklace Ta ta, fuck face, how'd you get this profession? Fresh as Tony John, stripping to bring the bread in You can call me Unkshine, girl, I'ma make you cry Gotta take an Uber, baby, I got a DUI Gone off these edibles and dancing like Charo Chilling with Zarface, this shit is bizarro Get in the car, we heart fucking core Don't do it in the park, say it a bunch more You're getting the dog in trouble, you dick Wonder if you tick tock well, it's true, bitch. Keeping it clean, please watch your profanity. Master of accents, nobody understanding me. Got DJ Dadmouth on the ones and twos. We the four stroke gang, act like you knew. Tom, like is new, you gotta dump that bitch. So, Ashley and Tucker, we actually that rich. Never been the time my car's been declined. Better clean up behind whenever I walk by. Ah, let's meet up, say 8, 8 15. A recovering lawyer with an MBA and a dream. Nah, I'm saying, nah, I mean, they had a job in my life. Got scared. Great cause I was caught stealing bikes Got a 2001 Chevrolet Suburban For the last time, Bird is not a racist person Still smells like shit and fucks a schnauzer Drinks a lead or a Kool-Aid once an hour We wanna have fun, like hardcore fun? Hey darn man fans, we hope you like this one It's about Kim Ann, nine inches and plus And how Tommy Buns got the best tour bus It's summertime, man, isn't it great? Got Louisiana hot sauce, yeah we give thanks Nicknamed Snake ever since I was a kid Crazy off the marijuana and the whiskey I would sip Yeah, you're smart, but sorry, all sales are final The sissy of Fremont Street, he all smiles $23.95 with the rent food Right now, right now, right now, because I'm in the mood Just a couple cool guys, you can go and play the riff Break your body once a year, that's the key to staying fit Oh, it's gonna be good, you better believe that Check the mommies weekly, put that on my jeans tab Fuck, you guys are doing good, is that Charlie? They took away the fart mic, but they're not sorry On that day, early ad free type lifestyle at your mom's house kick back and stay a while Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these where my hand's gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks. <laughs>